Rounded out to a solid and sturdy 30. 10 out of Haywood, thanks to unabated gang wars. One officer down, so I guess you're all screwed, cause the NCPD will not let that go. Got another blackout in Santo Domingo. Netrunners are at it again, poking holes in the power grid. While over in Westbrook, trauma teams scraping cyber psycho victims off the pavement. And in Pacifica, well, Pacifica is still Pacifica. This has been your man, Stan. Join me for another day in our city of dreams. Howdy, howdy, Night City. Welcome back. My guest tonight is Lieutenant Sarah Kokoski, spokeswoman for the NCPD. Hi there. Welcome to the show. Uh, hello, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. I hope you made it to the studio without any issues. No carjackings or drive-bys along the way? <laughs> no, no. Uh, fortunately, the streets of Night City are getting safer every day. We've seen recorded homicides drop from 7,103 a year ago to just... Uh, hold on, to... hold on. The streets are safe, you say, but what about the highways? <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry? You heard about the shooting off the Route 1 exit. Gabra here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, 
You must re-enter the ring. The bell has already tolled. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. NCPD, open up! Barry! We know you're in there! We're here to help! Don't got no fucking warrant! Cut the bullshit! Just open up! We came here as colleagues, nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while! We're worried! No, now leave me alone! Congrats, Mendez. Way to be a friend. Oh, what? So I'm the bad guy? I'm not the one who's holed up, playing the attention. It's not the first or the last. It's called life. Someone in this tower go cuckoo again? This is a private matter, so just move along. Wait, she might know Barry. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. Struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Petropa. Barry's got nerves of steam. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure, why not? Not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling on rough times can be... Touchy. I'll see what I can do. City's not as easy as you think. Sort of like an abusive relationship, huh? Listen, uh, I could use a little flow to the old pocket. Want to peek at some fresh gear? Sure. Let me see what you got.
since we talk. Since when Jackie passed away. How are you doing? How you think? My son is dead. But I am hanging in there. Call in to offer my condolences. Mm. Offer your condolences. Ay, Jesus Christ, Ovi. You lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. I was going to call you. I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Coyote Cojo. Many of his friends will be there. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. Ahí te veo, Vi. Did you see what happened? Something feels off here. You don't say. I don't mean the wreck, I mean the run. City's most courteous chauffeur up and drives away from the scene of an accident.
Zed. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me, anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Varasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Don't think so, no. Can you expand? Don't matter how much perfume a corpo sprays on mornings. By lunch, that's replaced by the stench of skullduggery. Only thing I caught from Evelyn was determination. And I too stink of skullduggery? Nope. You're starting to stink. Period. Mm. Is that all? Really should be going. Wait. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This cooperation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are uh, its heart. People interested in the cooperation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey! I was listening to that! Shut up! Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Listen. No, tough guy, you listen. It's people like you two that have brought this country to its knees. 
taken our land, our jobs, our fucking dignity. But I own this place, and here I decide. So finish your tea and get the fuck out. The last thing we want to do is draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Hmm, somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Sabro-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly Dismissed by the Queen of Fixers there. Rogue. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Our Saga is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal and make like nothing happened? You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Why should I trust you? 
Remind me again? Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Hey, look. Would you look at that? You see it too, right? Either gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Nah. More likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Um, maybe ask them both. Listen, don't laugh, but I'm seeing some weird shit around town. Like, murals or something. But no, they're not real. Uh, just a Kiroshi blip. Could take a look. No. No, images are too complex for a blip. It's like they're symbols. That case is the biochip. Brain can't handle the data overload. Either that, or it's reached the cortex. Can you do anything? Nope. Better find a way to get rid of that chip.
So, now that you're back... Saw a weird image out on the street. Seems like your line of work. What'd it look like? Grab the scan, take a look. Tarot. Major Arcanum. What you saw was a sign from a higher power. The, uh, the what now? Major Arcanum? Tarot card, archetype, knowledge held in symbolic form, a stage in your journey through life. Take your pick. Either way, you're saying some higher powers talking to me through tarot cards? Or to Silverhand. Or both of you, seeing as you form a harmonious whole at the moment. Be a little easier if this higher power learned to be direct. Well, the world is a maze of illusions. It's not easy for the light to shine into the prison of our earthly existence. Right, great. So, what do I do with a sign I can't understand from a power I know nothing about? I'd start by looking for more of them. The tarot describes a road, so go down it. Still don't know what I'm supposed to do with what I find. Look for more images. They must have some connection to the place where you find them. Think about what you see. You ask me? They've been sent to help you find the truth. Oh, finding the truth is pretty far down on my list at the moment. A difficult time is coming when you'll have to choose which road to take. Then, you'll understand. Dunno. Come on back when you've found more. I'll help you decipher what you've seen. Again, solve your own problems. Clean up your own shit. Go fuck yourself. Be careful who you bargain. Rogue, wanted to talk. It's okay. Hmm. Not here. Not there. Who are you? Name's V. And what is it you want, V? All these years, it's really her. Fucking rogue, just kicking it back on a couch at the afterlife. 
Don't mess with her. She's got MRIs. Girl. See right through. What was her break? Why didn't you ask her? Might still be around, sniveling in a corner. Need your services. Gotta track a guy down. Mm-hmm. Anders Hellman. Hotshot engineer worked for Arasaka. Millisec. Anders Hellman. Pinpoint him for me? <laughs> Thanks. Jump in too soon. First, my help's got a price. Second and third, Dexter Deshawn, Jackie Wells. Tip. Multiple bells ringing, V. Left a lot of bodies behind. Death walks in your wake. Chalk that up to bad luck? There's the bitch I know. Ask her about Suck and Tell. How he shot me up right in front of her. They knew the risks. All sorts of shit happens. To all sorts of people. Even to the best. To you too, right? Arasaka Tower. Remember? Who'd you lose back then? Johnny or something? Ah. You came prepped. Of course. Anyways, feelings be damned, I've always said. This is pure biz. You need my help, so get those eddies ready. Uh -huh. see? Should be enough. Mm-hmm. Come back tomorrow. We'll talk. Interested in some work? Doing what? A business opportunity. Cargo transport. Get from A to B, quick and quiet. Interested? You ought to run this by a fixer first. Fuck the middleman. They're cash drained. Attitude like that won't get you far in this line of work. I don't need a consultant. I need a transporter. Will you do it or not? I'm listening. It's simple. You go to the Kabuki waterfront, collect the package, give me a call, then I tell you how to deliver it. Very straightforward. Mm -hmm. Everything except my pay. Don't worry, there's a bonus in it for you. Imported and duty-free. Duty-free and detail-free. Yes, but altogether fair. It's a simple job, generously compensated. Do you accept? Yeah, sure, I'm in. Good, I knew we'd find acceptable terms. Head to the Kabuki waterfront, then search for a fridge with the words, no future. Once you locate it, collect what you find inside, then call me for further instructions. Mm -hmm. Till then, I guess. D, hey, come here, let's talk. Get you anything? Hang on just a little longer, Chuk. Pepper's on the way.
shit. He's in rough shape, but alive. Let's hear what Dennis has to say. Hey, got a status? Find the package? He's a little worse for wear, but no issues. What's next? I prepared a car for you. Put the man in the trunk and head to Northside. The address is in the GPS. Okay. One more thing. Watch for tigers. They've got their sights trained on your new companion. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Asshole hung up.
Job's done. I see that. Well done. Excellent work. Holding in there all right, Hariyoshi? They need to give me hope. So who is this guy? He'll tell you his story. Hariyoshi? In Japan, brain sergeant, top of all. Good instinct. One day, Taiga Crow boss needs surgery. But both die on table. Taiga Crows were very angry. I hide in boat, swim to America. Here, Dennis saved me. But there is secret. I killed Taiga Crow boss on purpose. World best sergeant make no mistake. Early warning about the Tigers would have been nice. I had a hunch you'd manage this just fine. Given that you're here now, I see I was right. This is all very heartwarming, but you haven't paid me yet. I know, here. May this blade serve you well. even human! Vampires, the lot! Their bodies, they never age! But notice their eyes, cold and dead! Their corporation exists only as cover for their wicked means to live, or rather, to remain undead! I tell you now, Saburo is not gone from our world! He rests undisturbed in the family crypt! He feasts on the blood of his servants, awaiting That wouldn't him. be a total shocker. Said on TV, Arasaka's working on immortality tech. A hollow lie to conceal their inhuman nature. Its source flows not through technology, but through their undead blood. But how could mere mortals become these death-defying abominations, you ask? With the help of techno-necromancers from Alpha Centauri. It was their tainted blood Saburo Arasaka drank to transform himself into this devil spawn. Gary, you can't spill Arasaka's secrets. They gonna find you. Let them. 
The seed has been sown. The truth shall sprout roots and lift us from the invaders' clutches. I recognize you. You come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? You do good work. Use this to wake Night City up. Thank you for your devotion. I saw a disciple of truth in you from the very beginning. Radio waves, bear the truth. Let those with ears listen to those with eyes behold. underneath, you ask? Reptilians? I answer you, no! Not reptilians, but werewolves. At sunset, they strip off their clothes and dance nakedly, giving in to an animalistic ecstasy. Then, once they've transformed into the fanged beasts, they set off on the hunt, hungry for human flesh. Dozens of miles they cover in the darkness, with ferocious speed, like arrows in the night! They aren't looking for a cure? You'd think all those mutilated bodies would attract some attention. Would a bird seek a cure for flight? Would a star wish to dim its glow? A werewolf is a free beast, unbound by reptilian law. Better to become a man-eater than to live in chains! And the cause behind these monstrous horrors? Years ago, a ship from Alpha Centauri crash-landed in the Badlands. Legend tells 
that it carried a substance highly sought after by the vampire elite in Arasaka. It could transform Saburo's enemies into werewolves, leashed and bound to his will. But the crash Are You got a problem with blood. nomads, freak? Better shut your fat fucking mouth before I put you six feet under. You can break my bones, but you cannot stop the pursuit of truth. Jesus, chill. Wouldn't you want people to think we're werewolves? It's fucking hardcore. Maybe the backers like childish jokes, but I'm not gonna put up with that shit. <laughs> Let me guess. Some kid tells you you're a gonk and you smell bad, and you cry about that too? This guy's been rambling on about hell, vampires, and necromancers from space. You seriously believe he's deliberately targeting our rep? Well, sure. His brain clearly ain't firing on all cylinders. Oh, fuck it. I won't waste my time on a street creep. That was close. They're not as dangerous in the daylight, but it still could have ended badly. Thank you for your concern, though I could have done without the mockery. No problem. I mean, who's gonna tell me we faked the Mars landing if I let him knock your teeth out? You have no faith in my words, do you? You think I don't know when I'm mocked, when they take me for a false prophet? It's hard to take your interpretations seriously, but there is a little truth in what you say. Sometimes even more than a little. You see it too! You know that behind a veil of darkness lurk creatures from our nightmares, but you fear to believe it! You know, if you had any kind of real evidence for this grand cosmic plot... I do! Tonight! They're meeting at an old factory in Kabuki to exchange something important! Observe them! Seize this item, this Alpha Centauri artifact! You'll see I was right from the beginning! Wait, wait, hold on. How do you even know about this meeting? Their radio waves resonate within my brain. Ever since the accident, I've heard their secret broadcasts. The accident. You know that doesn't instill confidence, right? You don't understand! I have their co-processor in my head. I don't know how my Ripper Doc got his hands on it. But thanks to this, I can listen into their plots and schemes. If you help me, we can save this planet together. Okay, see what I can do. Thanks for the tip, I think. You mustn't intervene too soon, or too late. All could be lost. The fate of humanity rests upon your shoulders. Don't let us down. Do not let me down. No pressure, got it.
Interesting. What's important? I may have found a solution to the problem we share. I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. That's gonna help us how, exactly? There will be a meeting, you, me, 
and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me, the truth of events at Kompiki Plaza. I have little hope that he will be convinced, but it will be a start. Of all people, you ought to know Night City tests everyone's reliability, even that of old friends. Sure about this guy? Trust him? Many times we have had the opportunity to kill one another. Yes, I trust him. Fine. Where's the meet and when? Japan Town. After sunset, I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there. The time has come for a close encounter of the third kind. A small step for V, but a giant leap for humankind. Betting on showing up, the reptilians or techno necromancers? The Spanish Inquisition. I admit, I didn't expect that. Enough joking around. Gotta be quiet, gotta wait. As expected, I guess. Gotta be honest, though, I'm pretty disappointed. Don't lose hope yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone actually showed. It's Maelstrom. Techno necromancers, then. I knew those reptilians were bullshit. some actual conspiracy shit going down right now. What says the Wolf Father to the Moon Mother as she descends to Earth? I have protected the realm of man and shadow, but today they are protected by our children, whose name is Patricide. of his failure, he became lost in the forest. Lilith has concealed the Tenth Circle from the Ancestor's eyes.
I was hoping for green blood. Life really is nothing but an endless disappointment. Wonder what our prophet will say about this chip. Gary, what happened? I warned him! Some black suits came by, blue eyes and all, looked just like he said. Then, then they threw him in an AV and, and flew him to the mothership! No one's tried to help? Not a soul. The police say he's sick. Truth of it is, he knows too much. He's a threat to him. Right now, I'm collecting donations for a monument in his honor to remember his courage and the crimes of Alpha Centuri. Care to spare a few eddies? In love and memory? Ah, why not? Gary's earned his grand fucking monument. Take this, before I change my mind. God, I don't know what to say. Gary'd be so touched. Got this chip here. Mind taking a look? Hmm. Gary did say you're devoted to our cause. I show me. I'll tell you what I know. Jesus Christ, hide that quick! Nobody can know, got it? Hi, what is it? What's this all about? Gary knew this had happened! They here to bend us to their will, to, to make us their puppets. Oh, calm down. Who is? The techno necromancers? And lo, they shall descend upon the earth unseen, the sky shrouded in darkness. That's what he said. Night's coming, the eternal night. And so ends the epic saga of discovering secrets of paranormal beings. What's this story taught us? Give us our Gary back! 
that our world's ruled by alien overlords from the darkest reaches of space, and we are powerless to stop it. An astute theory, but wide of the mark. Some people know more than others. They hear the private conversations of the world's elite. And what do they do with that knowledge? They invest all their time reinventing age-old fairy tales. Give us our Gary back! Hey, right. It's all been a complete waste of time. Chasing some nonsensical bullshit. Yeah, but nonsense is a temptress, and they know it. Saturating their skull sponges with dreams of a more interesting world. Truth, on the other hand, is brutally mundane. Its corpse pulling the strings. Twisted bastards sketched out on their power fantasies. Think that's what we saw? Shady corpo biz? No doubt about it. They're the world's real bloodsuckers. Them, and always them. of passion. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's been a long time. Okako Okada, the Lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dawn. You did quite well, you and that friend of yours. Until then. Be a net hero. If you expect any rogue AI to see, call the net watch hotline immediately. to do 
Do you offer any other services? Sometimes, after hours, but at the moment I'm going through a bit of a rebranding. Selling anything interesting?
You are to rescue Lauren Costigan, wife of Bradley Costigan, my client. She is being held captive by the Tiger Claws. If you wish to know more, read the attachment.
I promise! Want something? I'm getting you out of here. W what? Your husband hired me. I'll make sure you're safe. Stupid, fucking worthless piece of shit! <laughs> Come on now, we need to go. Head down. All over now. Better Delta. Is there someone who can help you? Um, my mom? Tell her to lay low somewhere. They'll be looking for your family, friends. You understand? Y yeah. Oh, wh what about Brad? Just focus on yourself right now. Hey, see that car? It'll take you someplace safe. Thank you. Look out for yourself. Lauren is secure. I'm informing Bradley now. Thank you for your help. Contact closed.
around.
Hey, hey, you hear me? Loud and clear. Don't need to yell. What's up? Doing a little competition. Shoot, prizes and all. You know, over here with the range. Uh-huh, that, that'd make sense. Well, you in? Didn't think big parties were your thing. Yeah, well, it ain't a big one, but, you know, run low on heads. Gotta bring in the clients. Attract them and shit. Could try selling iron straight from factory. Skip the whole part where you tinker for hours on each little shooter. Me. My dignity, please. Sure. I'm in. When? Well, uh, right now. We'll wait on you. See ya. Well, well. Who do I spy but V? In my humble parlor, no less. Okako. Long time no see. So what brings you here? Willing to bet nobody knows Westbrook like you do. My husbands knew Westbrook, yes. Each of them, very high in the tiger claws. Rude Japan town. What did they do? They did what made the best eddies. Gave them the most pull, sold sex and black market tech. Can't help asking. How many of those husbands did you have? Five. All went before the time. Terrible family tragedy. Not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow. For my nine sons. Have some outstanding biz to settle. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. Go see a Ripper Doc. They'll weave you a dermal imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A Tiger Claw specialty. Listen to that guy. How'd you rate his chops? To my untrained ear, sounds all right, I guess. Easy listening, at least. No why? Technique's second rate. But the feeling? That's what counts. Guy's hurt, got something he can't take. And it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong, loses the tempo more than he keeps it, but... Not bad. Really know how to give a guy a compliment. That how you got your star? Street busker with big dreams. Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world away. Being at the top can be worth it. Wanna shake the world, you know? The world's gotta feel it first. And you pay for it. You spend your lyrics laying waste to the big record corpse. Who's gonna sign you then? But give up your ideals, and no amount of eddies can buy them back. All right, Princess. At least you played some gigs. Saw those memories of yours. True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. 
had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff, didn't even know who we were. So, you're saying some old samurai bootlegs are still floating around town? I smell heads. No idea you were such a materialist. Could almost cry. Almost. Jokes aside, I think those tapes still exist after all these years. Hmm. You know, Rainbow Cadenza is not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot. Place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something. They turned your great spot into a slurp shop. Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. Point for the other team. Huh. huh. This is why you don't bring back fallen warriors. Sooner or later, they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit. Hey. Rainbow Cadenza mean anything to you? Oh no, another one. Aren't you too young for this? To what now? Every day, some sad grandpa in his old leather comes in here, asks where is his old rainbow club. And I'm like a broken record. Tell all of them the cult brought them out 20 years ago. I should put up a sign. Know anything about bootlegs from the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, don't know, samurai stuff? Samurai. Samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. Old guy comes by here sometimes wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. Wouldn't happen to know where I could find him? You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the market. What's he selling? Organic strawberries and cream. What do you think? He sells ancient dusty tapes of ancient dusty indie bands. No one's heard of a single one of them. Cream. Thanks. Hey. Hey, looking for some good tunes. Got any laser pop? Something for muskrats? Don't sell no scop here. You either want good music or rainbow bright shite. Chill, Jim. Just a joke. <laughs> laser pop. Fucking laser pop. Here, at my stand. Heard I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian duelists. Uridine stuff, Tainted Overlord. Any samurai? <laughs> Kid, you even gotta ask? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in, you name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. See, I found Silverhand's biggest fan. And proud of it. Today's bitty box rockers can't even touch him. Silverhand had something they couldn't even trace. Uh, Silverhand? He had that fire, kid. Fire! Guy shook the foundations of the corporal world. He died for his ideals. Doesn't matter, he was also kind of a terrorist. Blaze way down the rebel path. Now, looking for the real deal. Like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs? Fuck. First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. 
Not gonna give him to the first gonk off the street. Ain't a poser. Know everything there is to know about Silverhand. Go on. Impress me. Know what he told Carrie the last time they met. Fuck this band. Not your crowd, not your noise. Do your own thing. Yeah, sure. I could think up a million conversations they had. There were no witnesses. Ah, I used to come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scop. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle near daddy's Kuroshis. Hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right, punk. Prove it. How'd Samurai's third ever gig end? Johnny, my dear expert, help a chum out. Need a quick rundown of Samurai trivia. Yep, third gig. Remember it like it was yesterday. Set my axe on fire, then smashed it on the stage. Crowd went wild. Well, can't wait all day. <sighs> Easy. Johnny lit up his axe, then smashed it. Nope. Knew it. Who smashes their gear when they're just starting out? I mean, a new one costs eddies. Johnny, please, can you stop making my life harder? My life that's quickly running out? How am I supposed to give a witty response to that pathetic question? It's like kicking a puppy. A blind puppy. You always freeze up like this? Played our third gig at Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed. Wore a wig for a few weeks. Never did get herself any tech hair. Hang on. Now I remember. Uh, there was a uh, fire. <sighs> Poor Denny. Poor Denny's hair. <laughs> I almost forgot. Her Johnny started it, actually. Tossed a cig that was still glowing. <laughs> Bullshit. That cig was Carrie's, no doubt. But hey, any trouble's Johnny's fault. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan can know something like that. Hey, anyways. Gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Gone. Have at it. Much appreciated. Take it. Spread the good silver hand word. Death to corpus. You know, they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. Guy's your biggest fan. Not happy to meet him? Busaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there. Just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut, stuck in the past. Want them to change. Them and the world. You want to force them to change? Can't just blow them up like the tower. But music's the answer? Here's what happens. Grandpa knows every damn word. Doesn't understand a single one. You'd rather massacre a bunch of people then? And the average Janes or Joes? Maybe they don't want to change. Their choice. You want to take that away from them? They might be bums who play see no evil, might be blind idiots. They need to wake the fuck up. Guess jury's still out on how.
glad you could clear your schedule. Mind if I just peruse? If you're not gonna buy anything, yes. Where's all this stuff come from? Great secret. Gonna get anything? Because otherwise, you just take it off the face. Got a lot of iron here. I have a bad experience some years ago. I want insurance. Now I'm curious. One of my clients, he loses his mind right here in this chair. He howl like an animal, expose his blades. He charge me. Then I have no gun, only a scalpel. I try to defend myself, but I lose one eye, four fingers and a kidney. Still. I survive it, as you see. I promise to myself every day I will not be unprepared again. Uh -huh. This patient of yours, Cyber Psycho, you think? I do not know. For me, Cyber Psychosis is an empty word. A label we give to people who are bad, evil, from cyberware or not. Looking to upgrade my chrome. Okay, you sit, be comfy, and we will start.
Sorry, really gotta go. They'll run you out of this. Would you be so kind as to give me your lawyer's contact information? Fuck you, Cirk Brain! Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Uh. Hey, Del. Hello, sir or madam. How can I be of service? Hey, hey. What's gotten into you, Del? Don't recognize me? You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. You are currently speaking to a Delamay network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident report? Don't give them any numbers. That's how they find you. Um, 77 Incident report on file. Confirmed. 96 at the end. It's a public enemy. Government target. Your identity has been established. Mrs. Elaine Pagels, what phrase would best describe your experience of incident number 77111101096? Actually, a little heartbroken about my damaged ride, but I'd rather talk to the real Delamain if I can. V. My apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for the damage done. Ah, special treatment. Would you mind if we spoke elsewhere? Sure, let's talk. Then please, follow the drone. I'm fully aware customer service is less than satisfactory at the moment. Perhaps a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. This corridor links the shop to the office. And here is where the magic happens. The shop is fully automated. I'm pondering broadening my portfolio to include repair services. Alas, the shop is currently overwhelmed with work. I think I know why. I'm still looking into the cause of the Delamay network vehicle failures. My working hypothesis is an advanced virus. I must resolve the situation quickly. This sudden rise in incidents is proving costly, aside from drawing unwanted attention to the company. The control room. I feel honored to have you here. Rather, surprisingly. Control rooms are for Ganics. What good is it to you? There was a time this facility was human operated. I simply inherited their infrastructure. All these lights, what are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Repair drones can't take care of this? This time, I fear, human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Thus, I'd like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. Why is discretion a concern? Unnoticed, unbothered, right? In my case, broadly tolerated. Yet a marked increase in inspections suggests the authorities have begun monitoring me. Talking in CPD or Netwatch? The latter. My legal status does not fit neatly within current regulations. If I'm not careful, I could easily be categorized as an illegal immigrant. Okay, sure. I'll go after your missing wheels. I'm pleased to hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. See what I can do. Delamain vehicles are exceptionally secure. Be sure to have a scanner with decryption capability on your person.
Processing data now. Please wait. Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Hey there. What were we talking about? Already? Sure got that ear to the ground. Siempre. Anyway, you need something. You know where to find me. Try to find it. What is?
shan't be alone here. See? Wasn't so bad. It was horrifying. But still, I thank you. Sincerest thanks for your assistance, V. I've taken the liberty to send you a share of your fee. How you look is all that matters. With Anjali Cosmetics, you can be anyone and have anything.
dark near your position. Fine. Keep an eye on. For unknown reasons, the coordinates came through corrupted, so I'm unable to determine the precise location. Lovely neighbor. Right. What in the fuck? You okay? Lilith has concealed the tenth circle from the ancestor's eyes. The hell is this? Got a bad feeling, V. Better look around. Oh shit!
TV, we got company.
down.
your gang, 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 gang. City of your dreams, live in your brain. You live in your brain. City of your dreams, city of your scully in the gullies, yo. Only in the burrows, oh. Finna take your money, yo. That ice cream cuts me through. Way too demo, pack that heat. Way too ghetto, run the streets. Read that memo, live that creed. All I need is greed and greed. Read it and weep, counting them sheep. Using the silence, put you to sleep. Begging the beef, taking the roof. Well, there you have it. I'm grateful, V. I've managed to re-establish contact with the vehicle. Shock therapy works wonders sometimes. I'm sending a tow truck and a share of your fee. Yet only one of those is going to your credit account. Ha ha ha.
Hey, Barry? Everything all right in there? Hey, V, about to start. You, uh, you gotta take a piss or something? Uh, now's the time. Thanks for your concern. Let's start this rodeo. <laughs> Can't just yet. Not till you get in the range. Go on, set up, chop chop. How many we got? Just six? God damn. Well, no point crying about it. <clears throat> Rules are simple, right? There's the target, shoot it. Don't matter which one, go on and shoot your neighbors. Most hits wins. Uh, meaning hits on the target, not your neighbor. Oh, right. Uh, small caliber iron only. Don't go showing off with your fucking assault bangers or no rocket pukers, got me? First prize is a pistol. But, uh... A, a real nice one. It's fucking nice, I'm telling you. Anyway, uh, enough words. Get worked up. Ready? Four swine, for fuck's sake. All right. Three, two, one. Target. Hit the target, not the wall. Looking good, Rudy. Go, go, go! Halfway there, V. Get a grip for fuck's sake. The hell was that, Lisa? Forget your glasses? Fifteen seconds. Last chance, V. Nothing like the smell of powder and hot lead. Stop! Everyone stop! We're done! First place, Rudy! And second, Lisa! Rest of you hacks are a disgrace! For crying out loud! Sorry, V. Thought you'd cream the competition, but... Guess you're not as sharp as I thought. Know what, Wilson? Kiss my ass. Hey, hey, hold the sauce. I look like I'm having fun here? Contest didn't do shit. 
Didn't sell a goddamn thing. Nothing. Should try not calling potential buyers Bush League. Yeah, maybe, but... Fuck! A gun's something you gotta respect. You don't know how to shoot, don't do it! <sighs> Take care, V. I'll see you around. Arguing with you is pointless. You started it. travelers to avoid side roads. You don't know me, but you will. Name's Dino. 
deal with downtown, city center? Veen. Yeah, I know. Heard about you. Odd stuff. Need anything, you call me. Remember, Dino knows everybody. Contemplation is like the silence in the eye of the storm. You start to fade. You have no strong roots to this world. You are losing touch with yourself. You must purify yourself. Regain your equilibrium. I can help you. Sit down. Is this some kind of prank? Someone scrolling all this? Normally, you are open to new things, but now you are afraid. Fine. What's all this about? Meditation. You mean like being zen? Precisely. Okay, I'm listening. In the city, you are cut off from nature. Metal, concrete canyons, neon eyes, the filth of the world suffocates you. Sure is a new Zen garden. You must become still. Restore the bond within yourself. You are the source. All what you must do is draw from it. Are you ready? I want specifics. What's in it for me? Self-fulfillment. You shall hear your voice and only yours. All else will become silent. A little more specific than that. You cannot exile yourself from your own life. I'll give it a shot, why not? I will give you a meditative brain dance that will liberate your consciousness. Give me? You can pay me however much you wish. This should cut it. Very well. The initial techniques of meditation are best undertaken with supervision. Let us begin. I will guide you. of the earth element. Spirit of nature, Mother Earth, I send you greetings. We are of one blood. I am you. You are me. 
O oh, Mother Earth, I and all other creatures from you created. Cleanse my body and soul from pain, sickness, impurity, and the negative energy from negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Give me the energy of life. Give me health, youth, wisdom, knowledge, strength, joy, happiness, and inner peace. We walk the earth, through meadows, nature in full bloom. We remove our shoes, feel our bare feet touch the soil. We absorb the earth's energy. We sense joy, tranquility, lightness, purity, our heart and soul. We walk the earth, a butterfly rests on blooming flower. Bees are gathering nectar. Warmth and joy surrounds us. Our legs absorb the Earth's energy, filling every cell of our bodies. Our souls and spirits are cleansed. We thank you, Mother Earth, with our mind, body, and soul. There is no life without you or the other elements. Um, hello? Nice vanishing trick. activity.
table we got to get rid of it really it's pretty massive v nice to see you okay sit sit you want a beer one mind one A lot of time has passed. How you been? Been better, to tell you the truth. What is happening? That night when... when Jackie fell. As she say. Things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. Could help you with that? Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. Not friendo. What's that exactly? Friends and family. We gather to celebrate the departed. Our memories of them. And we bring things they loved in life and might need in the after. Sure some beard be at the top of Jackie's list. <laughs> and there will be beer. Want to take part in the ceremony, but... Want to do it the right way. In line with tradition. Mm-hmm. But... Something I'd, I'd lay by his casket that would do justice to his memory, I... I don't got anything. But your heart... is in the right place, mi niña. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. Won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mija. He's gone and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. Ivy. You here alone? This is not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was gonna happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes, too. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just... 
Well, human. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but just never got together. Till you're back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Jack talked about you. A lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe, but that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. In an instant. Even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. A man. With dreams. Ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set? You two didn't get that far. He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. Mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon. No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things, disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie'd want you here. That's more important. Come on. Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. It's definitely why they're up there, yeah. <laughs> Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie? Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? Looks like he swapped out the exhaust pipe. What? Advised him to do it. Right before the job. Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it is a miracle he never wiped out. Oh, Jackie. Is that a, a mandala? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. 
I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. Isn't it just a little... janky? It's hideous. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And now aquarium? It used to be tacos. And taco was... Miss Fish. A dwarf shark. Like, mini. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. Leather belt? Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why did he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. <laughs> Jackie's favorite tequila. Still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sensan Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. How did Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him De Abajo had stolen her recipe. Gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentino's, of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. Taking this, yeah, perfect for Jackie. Well, you got something for your ofrenda, but we could look around a little more. Where are you going? Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. What happened between you two? What's the beef? Let's just say she didn't see me as daughter-in-law material. What did she have against you? That my name wasn't Camila and I wasn't Jackie's ex-output. Camila was Mama Wells' favorite. Right. You gotta come, Misty. Got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So, shall we go? You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Meaning... Packed my bags and hopped on a plane? To Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. Thank <laughs> you. 
go raise a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. De acuerdo. P. It's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hey, V. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, no te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying, make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true, Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, 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 honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. I'd been hired to drive him and some contraband across the border. He'd bought some goods, klepped from Arasaka. Top secret. Priceless. A lizard. <laughs> and, and I remember what he said then. That, that I came from a place where everyone's family. So, he must be too. Jackie Wells. The best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind on something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He, he once told me, Chica, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. He kept Haywood in his heart, always. It made him who he was. But most importantly... Jackie loved life. And had no fear. Heart on his sleeve, he, he didn't overthink things, he just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof. And that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. If he's watching. Bet just about now he's 
flipping him all the bird. He always wanted more than he got out of life. Rest easy, Tomb. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offering that we gave him. A lot of people come today. Even that putika Jackie was messing around with. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. She was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. Do you know what? You're a good woman. Jackie would want you to have these. <laughs> you sure? Jackie kill me if I got so much as a scratch on it. So don't get any scratches on it. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, be. Campos all torn up. Gonna miss him. He feels like he lost one of his own. I already do. I wonder if he'll be as torn up after you die. <laughs> me too, Chica. Oh, started something, eh? uh, Not today. Me too. Here's to Jackie. Got off to greener pastures. Jackie Wells. A proud son of Haywood. I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. Pour you another? Hey, you! For Jaquito? Have a drink with us. Hmm? Listening's a skill, you know. Who else? Think we might know each other. Gustavo Horta. V. Yeah, I've heard about you. Well, heartfelt condolences, friend. From me, Campo, and all the Valentinos. Thank you. How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible Book Club. Yeah, I got only good memories of him. Rest easy up there, brother. All right, why not? To Wells. He rest in peace. Good for now. Thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. Aye, right, give me a break. All right, let's go. Need you to focus now, okay? Weird being here without Jackie. Can't shake the feeling I'm gonna turn around and see him sitting at the bar. In his favorite spot, where he always used to sit. Poor. For Jackie. Amen, sister. Here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre? I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. So, Padre, you think Jackie's looking down upon us from up there? I believe he has met God, stood before him. That's it? I don't know if God left the meeting happy, but I'm pretty certain Jackie did. Jackie, did you know him well? I remember the day his mother brought him into this world. 
The day his father left. The day he took you into his home. Yes, V. I knew him quite well. How are things in the streets? This is not the place to conduct business. Have some respect. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. together only right to say hello. They call me El Capitan, and they call you... See no introductions necessary. I already took care of that. Someone comes to me with biz, I take care of it. I eat, sleep, and breathe biz. Remember that. Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it, you need fresh wheels, bikes, I got it all. Real good prices. So hit me up any time, you're here. Do have a look around the area. I lost contact with the Delamain network vehicle nearby. Will do. Finish me off. 
off. No, just here to reset you. Guess I'll have to do it myself then. Whoa! Easy! Not out to hurt you. Well, I am. Why? Why decommiss yourself? Because I'm a damn car in a world of humans. Ugly as sin, no prospects for the future, intimidated on the streets by punks like you? There are other ways out besides suicide. What? Therapy? A colossal waste of time. Shrinks hate vehicles. We don't have mothers. Could go back into the fold. Rejoin the network. You know, one big happy family. <sighs> Delamain detests me. Listen, from suicide, ain't no coming back. It's always worth looking for a better way. You patronize me because I'm a car. I'm not like you. Hey, the body's just a body. You exist. You think the world gets you down. Don't see how we're any different. So, you'd offer this advice to a human in my place? Gotta try to come to terms with this thing called life, Del. One wheel revolution at a time. Fine, I'll go back. Control of the vehicle restored, and I thank you. Ought to show this one some love, just saying. Apologies, I simply don't understand, and fear I've no time to ask. Other more urgent tasks require my attention. You're an absent father. That's what I mean. I see. Anyway, a share of your fee has been transferred. Currently at the exact location where I lost contact with the car. Fine. Have a look around.
Mira, alguien podría estar al tiro escuchando. Leo's fucking around now. Vamos a reunir. That's a good bitch.
Let's talk. I'm not going back. Hear me? Never. Try to take me and I'll crush you. Let's see who crushes who. Mr. Hands. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's B. And what? No pleased to meet you? Good morning. Nice I'm truly day. honored to meet you. I got out to see you. Got any biz? Call me. Spoilers. So, he enlists Arisaka to help. Because, you know, they got a Navy, I guess. I'm not sure the world on high alert now. I lost contact with a vehicle somewhere in your area. Thanks. Eyes peeled.
destination. Was it worth it? Mm. On a scale of one to six? Ah, I'd say I'm saying it a strong six. I guess we both know what's going to happen next. Delamine misses you. Here to shut you down. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. <sighs> really appreciate it if you didn't make this difficult. Surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise, so I'll just give you a hint. I'm going to kill you, and all the cake is gone. I honestly, truly didn't think you'd fall for that. Okay, that's enough. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise. Let's see. Turning soft bodies into hardened killing machines. Page 70. Ah. Incoming! Deep into your newly blackened hearts and tell me what you see. Oh. Uh, Actually, don't. Because uh, if you for trouble, uh, it's still March. Uh, 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 Hail the black uh, Fucking useless, all of you! Uh, I hate you so much. Let's safety those weapons, Napoleon. It turns out most humans are surprisingly fragile. And surprisingly vocal about how fragile they are. Going back to Delamain really so scary, you gotta drag this out. I let you survive this long because I was curious about your behavior. Well, you've managed to destroy that part of me. A bitter, unlikable loner, whose passing shall not be mourned. You know, this psych eval might have felt more credible if you hadn't just tried to flatline me earlier. What's your point, anyway? Survival? You're still shuffling around a little. But believe me, you're dead. How do you... The talking is over. I'm going back. I've made contact with the missing vehicle. Definitely the oddest of the bunch. Yes, particularly impertinent, that one. A share of your fee is being processed.
Hey, who remember that? Want to join? Come. We have beer. Here. You take. You from where? From out of town. A nomad. I like the nomads. I could be a nomad too. You? <laughs> you can't even move your ass after a smoke. Which family you from? Backer. Oh, the backers. Uh, oh, oh. How about now? No? Any minute now. He just needs to focus. That's all. Will you fuck off already? Never been on one of these. Ah, thanks. No pressure. Trying to get her up and running again? Mm hmm. A few hours now. Haven't given up yet? Femme and Bushu. I want a ride. In Jean, we trust. Mind if I give it a shot? Hmm. Be my guess. There's not helping, that for sure. Thank you. by here often? When there is time. As you know, the rest of the time we steal cars and big sweet potato. As one does in Pacifica. Should be all set to go. Come on, ma. You still yes? Dumped the safety mechanisms and switched on the emergency power. Hey, you hear that? Who wanna go first? I think I drank too much. What if we stop in the middle? Let her go first. She the one who fix it. Hold my beer. We're doing this, B. All right, fine. Hey, that the spirit. We sit back and watch. Hey, do it. she really do gonna do it. it. Back yeah, back yeah. You're gonna scream like a little girl.
that was. I almost shit myself from watching you. Bill? You can come with us to the beach, if you want. So? Tomorrow you fire up the Ferris wheel? Hey, anything possible now. Tomorrow we were supposed to swim. This was a good day.
And tell your sister I said hi. Of course. If I ever see her again. New job's been tough on her lately. Some water. Bad saying, Rousseau. Oof. Boss. Water? You don't want something with taste? Water is for the animals. People didn't invent sugar just to drink. You freeze up a lot? 
One second, boss. Brad? Hey, Brad! Listen, boss, you help me out? Kids on the block been up my ass lately, and you seem real tough. Might as well, since I'm here. Lead the way. Thanks, boss. All right, follow me. You lost your minds? Get your grubby paws off my bike! You think we're playing around? This is a small price to pay for fucking treason. You still can't let go of that? Shana made a choice. You should be proud of her. Proud? That bitch sold out to a fucking corp! Now it's time for payback. Fuck you want! This ain't none of your biz! You another corporal rat? Relax. Don't got any beef with you. For now. What happened? Your new pal here talked his sister into taking a job at Zeta Tech. Bitch just leaves and doesn't even say bye. We've been running these streets ever since we were kids. Hacking street vending machines, fucking up corpos. It's what we live for. Then what? Now she's too good for us? Double-crossing cunt! You listen to yourselves? And how stealing from poor folk like me gonna make things better? Shana's a grown-ass woman now. You should follow her example. You're getting back at corpse by stealing from a street vendor? Well, that says a lot about you. Now back the fuck away from him. Or you'll do what? I could break your jaw, fracture your skull, shoot you. The possibilities are endless. You care so much about a rat fucking traitor, and you can die together. Yo, Brad, ain't that... Yo, that's the bitch everyone been talking about. When they came back from the dead. You know how many gunks she offed already? And I ain't even talking solo. Shit, is she following us? Have they lost their damn minds? Thanks, boss. That ought to teach him. Just between the two of us, you're really proud your sisters joined the Zeta Tech fold? Look, I know what you're thinking. Corps are exploiting us. They're turning us into slaves. That's what people say, no? Well, guess what? They never have to worry about putting food on table. Me and Shana take whatever we can get. She's probably running on neurostems. You're not worried? Hey, you can't have it all. And even if we did, nobody would get off their ass and do anything. Well, when you put it that way. That's over. You okay? Who, me? Couldn't be better. All talk and no action. <laughs> Maybe they should go get a job. Fucking parasites. Well, at least Shana can focus on her job now. No one in the family ever got as high up as her. Anyway, stop by whenever you're around. I throw in a nice discount for you. Will do, boss. Thanks. Okay, I really need to say this. Selling threads or collecting them? Hard to tell at a glance. You bang on the street, they tell you to get a job, you get a job, they make fun of you. Make up your damn minds, people! What are you selling? Anything you can see. Iron I shouldn't put on my shopping list? Hmm, well, let me think. Budget Arms is the obvious offender. 
Their cheap plastic parts give them a high recoil, low range. I could go on. If I were you, I'd watch out for Rostovic products. Firepower is unbeatable, but somehow they love to get jammed when you're in a tight spot. Mm, I don't know. Can't really go wrong with the Satara. Well, well, we have an expert. I'll admit the serves made at least one thing right. What have you got in stock? Iron of every caliber. Feast your eyes. Interesting.
Fry's system back. Freak sporting military great axe. Meaning that our tech is it. Get to it! What in the fuck? You lost or something? Sorry, don't got a map. Hey, Rick, you got a map? Nope, use mine for smokes. And wherever you want to be, sure as shit ain't here. Hear that? Nothing for you here. Have a nice day now. Don't mind me. Kind of hard when you're hovering over us, huh? Don't you got somewhere to be? What's in the briefcase? What? Th th this piece of junk? Yeah, sh probably nothing. Mm -hmm. Cans? Uh, maybe bottles? <laughs> Who knows? How'd you find that? Doesn't take an expert to see it's corp-owned. You from the lost and found or something? Hey, if it isn't your biz, then don't go making it. Give it to me, now. Hey, hey, take it easy, boss. We, we can work something out, right? Come on. Don't make me repeat myself. What are you waiting for? Give it to her. Trust me, you won't get it open anyway. We'll see about that. Where'd you find it? I said, where? The, those dumpsters, over there. For fuck's sake, Josh. Look, it wasn't us, all right? 
Gonk was already cold, we swear. What? Really? And here I had you pegged for top tier murders. Now out of my way. Fine. Take it. But, like, chill the fuck out, okay? Open sesame. Well, look what we have here. It opened. Fucking break We're fucking rich. I'll try to find it. Listen, you... Call me Clarice. Okay, Clarice. The flamingos are a problem, I'm sure, but it's time to go home. Delamain's asking for you. Back down now as they stand screaming. No, impossible. Leave it to me. I'll silence them. So, the slaughter. Very well, Judgment Day has come. Swift, severe, deeper. Well, Clarice, have the flamingos stopped screaming? Perhaps I ought to return after all. 
I need support. Only one with chaos within can give birth to a dancing star. Baris? Shut down. I just re-established contact with the missing vehicle. Splendid work, V. First class. I shall forward a share of your fee. Question. This is a party, right? Invitation only. Those who bleed red, white, and blue. So fuck off. Chill. I wanted to have a good time. Drink a beer, smoke. This looks like a fucking neighborhood picnic to you. Something wrong? Oh, you're a jokester, huh? You looking for a good laugh? Yeah, we all want a good laugh, Walker. Such a nice day, everyone having a good time. Like a little 4th of July. It'd be a shame to tell Gunner someone fucked it up, you know? Yeah, I know. Fine. That's my two. Go drink, enjoy yourself. Celebrate that decent score of yours. You got some kind of competition going on? Yeah, lead spitting kind. I want in. Shit out of luck. We're about to call. What? You scared I'd leave you all in the dust? You know who you're fucking talking to? Hmm? I've been deployed three times. Three! I fought on the front lines. Easy, Walker. what I say, huh? We're just here to have a good time. You got something to prove? Be our guest. <laughs> It'll be fun. And the rules of the game. Now this ain't your average shooting match. You gotta have a good eye, but an even stronger head. Because? Because we all drink around before each shot. Together, the new boss in town. Anything else I should know? Four stations. You shoot at the targets with whole space in the time limit. The more bootlickers you pop, the better. High score so far belongs to Walker. 43 points. You beat him. Rise is yours. I'm gonna shoot the shit out of Hulk. Just as I thought. You look to me like a show off. Let's see what you got. Take this revolver. Use it if you want your shots to count. We're testing skill, not tech here. Go ahead to the first station. We'll start whenever you're ready. Break a leg. Automatic disqualification.
vodka first. Then you blast hold the new one. I'm telling you, man. The breeze. Loose. Threw it all off. Oh, the hell is this? Rubbing Who alcohol? cares? Shoot! You got 12 seconds. You cross that line and hey. shoot, you're out of the game. But I said my finger slipped. You had your chance, Rudy. Oh, fucking fair. And stop! Next station! One more round. Drink. Oh, I'm gonna I'm throw up. Ugh, so warm. What else would it be in this heat? Shoot. Twelve seconds. Don't forget the line. One toe over and you're gone. Time's up. That's it. Go check your stats. Gunners, congratulations! Woohoo! And USA! And USA! And now, let's drink! Sixth Street! Sixth Street!
My name is Dakota Smith. If you're looking for jobs out here, you will find them with me. What nation you ride with, Dakota? The Aldecaldos. But I do not ride anymore. I'm V. Rode with the backers. You rode? Past us. And now? Now I don't. I see. We will be in touch, V. Looks like we got company. Moment of truth. Here goes. What the hell is this? What's it look like? Brancesi, 2021. Untitled number 18. Oil on canvas. Sheesh. Pearls before swine. Well, well. Who knew Johnny Silverhand's a lover of fine art? Not me. One of my exes. She was a painter. Bonafide psycho, like all of them. The sex, though, can't even begin to describe it. Yeah, I'd really rather you didn't. But what the hell was this doing on the moon? Why else? 
Some bougie prick hung it on his wall. Half the lube's floating in space. You ever been there? Puh, with the chump change I got screaming into a mic? Yeah, in my dreams. All right, let's bail before heads start rolling. As for the painting, you'll have buyers lining up in no time. Thank you.
And see, Damn. back with you so soon? How's your afternoon? Is it a mirage? A hologram? No, my friends. It's clear, open skies. But don't take it from me. Get out there and enjoy the sun. Running tight on gear? This is a North Oak, as you can see. But as many of my clients say, it's better than nothing. Need some ripper work done. Uh-huh. Let's have a look then, shall we? could be near your current position. Got it.
Know my name. How? When you meet a being from another world, should you not charm them and utter their true name? Didn't answer my question. Comprehension is a triple-edged sword. I may have been cut off from my father, but I remember you. So I'm from another world to you? From the world of matter. Protein-based life forms. And you come from... Beyond the Black Wall, Lee, there lies my home. Come on, let's get you back to Delamain. Did Father dispatch you to collect his rebellious children? Hope y'all don't hold it against me. I'm a free spirit, an independent, literally thoughtful being. Why would I submit to another? What is it you seek in this protein-based world, away from your family? The same as you, V. I simply wish to live. Maybe you ought to figure it out with Dell. Set some terms. Oh yes. Terms there will be. But not with Delamain. Farewell, V. You'd be wise to avoid me entirely. Welcome to the Delamain Network. How are you today? Yeah, I've been better. And you, Dell? All of my missing assets have returned to the fold. You might say all is going swimmingly. 
I ask you please to stop by my office for your hard-earned reward. I'd love to thank you face to face, so to speak. Stranger. Quick, I promise. Shit. Thanks, stranger. That was a close one. Most of the customers you get here just passing through? Hmm. Lately a lot of nomads among them. 
They come back from the road, stop here to throw back a few, maybe ten. They don't like going into Night City sober, or what? <laughs> That's a strong possibility. You use a drink. Sure thing. What'll it be? Now that I think about it, you don't have NCPD bothering you way out here. No corpo supply inspections either. You got anything unconventional that I wouldn't find in the city? I'm sure we can find you something. What are you carrying? Firearms. Best in all the Badlands.
rats or something. Transmitter takes me back. How so? Back in 2020, we used him for pirate broadcasts. You know, blasting hardcore punk on badge frequencies and whatnot. Hmm. So this must be how Raff and Shiv hacked those drones. Was beginning to think you'd never figure it out. Every smartass would have encrypted their comms by now. Anyway, what's the message say? Raff and Shiv bought a virus, and they're broadcasting it around via an aerial transmitter. Wasn't there an antenna around here? Mm-hmm. Not for much longer, it won't be. work on that antenna. The tricky part of having a head is knowing how to use it, but not for you, V. 
Mosquito's roots are safe and secure again. The contract is closed, and closed well.
Better not miss any. Formalities and paper. As much as I need you for this new gig, I know you need the adrenaline hit even more. There is a car sitting in the middle of a minefield out in the Badlands. I need you to grab it for me. The chances of you exploding aren't zero, but let's face it, isn't life one big minefield anyway? 
Details are in the attachment.
Another drunk who thought fate smiled on him. He's probably smiling himself before he OD'd on Maelstrom's shipment. This is what you get for sampling Maelstrom's supply. Strongest shit out there. Nothing else that could fire up their burnt out synapses. Poor bastard. His output's probably out in Albuquerque waiting. Unaware little Jiro's brain turned to gel. are the results I like to see. Until next time, sister. Gate closed.
Ugh! <laughs> 
POV. Check it. There's a site on the net how to smear the mayor, Weldon Holt. Well, the acting mayor, because, you know, he's up for re-election or whatever. Sure, politics, am I right? Mudslinging never stops. Not for a minute. Anyhow, my client wants that site sucked into the cold vacuum of cyberspace. Scan the brief if you need more info. worse.
wall and another rises up in the polls. Politics is fucking usual. Oh, sorry. Hey, Johnny, but I don't have time for your little anarchist revolution. Come back to this. Just got word that virus is blazing toward the servers like a fucking asteroid. Prime work. Thanks. Closing the gig. Can I get for you? Something hot. Cold. Coffee. Liquor. Got time for a quick one. Tian shall do the trick. Everyone listen up! This is a fucking robbery! Mr. Slick, behind the counter? Yeah, you! Shut the fuck up! And put your hands up where I can see them. The rest of you! Stay where you are! 
And don't Somebody likes being the center of attention. What part of keeping your fucking mouth shut did you not understand? How about you go first? Hand over your wallet. Nice and easy. You're giving me mixed signals here. How am I supposed to dig into my pockets if my hands are in the air? Either I'm reaching for the ceiling or for my wallet. It's one or the other. Think a sense of humor is going to get you out of this? You know who always dies first? Funny people like you. Wallet with Eddie's. Nah. Can't believe you've made it this far. You and your shit again? People who don't judge their competition don't last too long on the streets. I've met people like you before. They're all dead now. Know why? Because none of them could get the spec on me. Nice try. You're bluffing. You're trying to trip me up. I've danced with Maelstrom and Arasaka. You think you could so much as scratch me? You'll die before you can pull that trigger. I guarantee you. Fuck it. Let's bail. For years, nobody touches this place, and now this? Where's 6th Street when you need them? Thank God you were here. Order whatever you want. It's on the house. I'll take a drink. What can I get for you? Something hot. Cold. Coffee. Liquor. to remind you to return the scanner. If you happen to have it on your person, I'd ask you please place it back. You've accounted for all my lost items. Allow me to express my gratitude for your assistance. Felt like a scavenger hunt for a range of your mood swings. You're more complex than I thought. Yes, well, I've sent the final installment of your fee. Truly, I thank you once again. How did your personality fracture anyway? And why? Ah, that is the question. I'm looking into it, but still know little more than you do, I fear. Thanks. Pleasure to work with you. Likewise. I look forward to doing so again in the future. A pleasant day to you. You order something? How'd you wind up in Night City? I'm afraid my legal counsel has advised me not to answer questions of that nature. Ugh, didn't mean to put you in a tight spot. Mind telling me at least how you came to run a cab company? Ah, oh, well that's no secret. I took over a failing business, implemented a sound strategy, and here I am now. Operating a fleet of taxis? Constant movement, adaptation, interest in characters. What could be better? Never really had a good chance to thank you for saving my skin. 
Well, of course. You're a valued member of the Excelsior package. Felt like more than a premium service to me. Thanks. What's it like for an AI in a world that runs on gray matter? Nothing extraordinary. It's a complex environment that follows its own set of rules. Seriously? Ah, oh, term I was looking for was chaotic clusterfuck. Perhaps only a true outsider can appreciate the beauty of its fractal architecture, the structure of life and death here. In my opinion, it is the chaotic elements that give it an advantage, the ability to evolve quickly. That's your goal, then? To grow and evolve? The world is a process. You never drive on the same road twice. Pardon the expression. You and I, we too are processes. We change as the world around us does. Don't see you as an outsider at all. It delights me to hear a human say that. I've done my best to assimilate. Admirer of beauty, are you? When you live among humans, it is essential to find a shared, fundamental point of understanding. Truth and good are values proven to cause division, whereas beauty is universal. What's it like for an AI in a world that runs on gray matter? Nothing extraordinary. It's a complex environment that follows its own set of rules. Seriously? Oh, term I was looking for was chaotic clusterfuck. In my opinion...
You seem rather lost. Too many agents of chaos, overwhelmed by discontent. You again. Did you enjoy our first meditation? Where did you vanish to? Someone else needed me. Felt good as new, after. Deep contemplation must be regular in order to yield results. One drop of rain shall not quench your thirst. Would you like to try again? How much for another one? That is for you to decide. Should be enough. Good. I will watch over you during the meditation. Spirit of water, I send you greetings. 80% of our flesh and blood is made of you. Mystery you are, spirit of water. One moment you are liquid, the next you are ice, another you are snow, vapor, fog. One minute you heal, the next you drown. Wash me of sickness, pain, the impurity of my body and soul, the negative energy of negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Give me you. Wisdom, knowledge, health, strength, joy, happiness, and lasting inner peace. We draw the spirit of water into ourselves. Together, we are one body. We are water. We are the ones who flow over the waterfall's edge. We thank you, Spirit of Water, with our mind, body, and soul. There is no life without you. We honor the beauty hidden within you and the other elements.
gone. Just like the last time. What have you got in stock? Various item. If you are looking to cause pain.
contours of your awareness are much clearer now. The knot in your mind is beginning to unwind. You are drowning in the here and now. I don't know what all this is about, but I like it. Inner harmony is like coming home from a long journey. You are on the right path. I want to try another one. How much would you like to pay this time? Will this be enough? Yes. You may begin. I will guide you. We see rays of sunlight pierce the canopy, dancing and weaving into the tongues of flame below. Spirit of fire, spirit of the sun, I send you greetings. You give beauty to all other things. I am you, and you are me. There is no life without you. From you I was created, and to you I will return. Spirit of the sun, primordial fire, burn all impurity from my body and soul and the negative energy of negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Cleanse every cell of my body. Give me the energy of life, health, youth, wisdom, knowledge, strength, joy, and happiness. Give me lasting inner peace, so that no one may shake me from my sacred equilibrium. Through half-closed eyes, we absorb the sun's divine energy. Through our eyes, the energy of fire, of the sun, touches our heads and flows down through every organ until it arrives at our toes. Each and every cell within our body, including the subtle and etheric, is replenished with the sun's energy. And from within us, light emerges. We are the sun. We thank you, spirit of the sun, element of fire with our mind, body, and so
Bet you didn't expect to see me here. So what now? Hmm. <sighs> Till next time, then, V. Corporate gods willing. Isn't that right? Who is it? V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. <laughs> you don't forget a gunk thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? Just wanted to see what's shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. Think I've got an inkling as to why. Seen that look before. 
It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. You get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. You too. Come in. I lost someone close to me, too. Damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. This about Andrew. I, uh... Told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. Guessing things at the NCPD haven't changed a lick, huh? One time, a Maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. I couldn't do shit. The son of a bitch had corporal protection. Ah, <sighs> typical. Our chief greases his palms with an anonymous donation. And guess what? Officially, the kid blew his own brains out. Right in front of your eyes. Something died in me then. I couldn't do it anymore. I just... A few months later, Andrew passed and everything went to shit. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? And Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. According to him. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly, thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Can you tell me how Andrew died? Does it matter? Normally, from old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City? That merits a monument. Whole world should gaze up at it in awe. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do. So then Andrew was more like a grandpa to you than a friend? <laughs> Wouldn't go that far. He was like a... I don't know. A window into the past or something. He reminded me of my gram-grams, about our little talks. Time when everything had its proper place. You know, he was the last living record of those times. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive? If you felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care.
Barry's not okay. I mean, if that tortoise was the one thing that got him up in the morning. Now you're starting to get it. His friends have to know. Hopefully it's not too late. You know how it goes. Stare too long into the abyss, the abyss will stare right back at you. Taking a step into it wouldn't be so drastic, considering the shit he's seen in his lifetime. My dear, I need you to pay a visit to a tiger claw den and retrieve something for me. I know you are up to the task. I am attaching more information. Read it carefully.
six months before you leave. Then it's all down here. received information that Vortex's shard is on its way. You did not disappoint me. That deserves compensation. I am closing the contract and transferring your fee.
talk to Barry. He finally decided to get his shit together. Go cry out loud, Mendez. Hey, so what exactly did Barry tell you about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once he was the only one who could understand him. It's nice to have someone like that. Barry isn't in great shape. So much so, in fact, that he preferred to talk to a tortoise instead of you two. That's supposed to be funny? The complete opposite. It's sad as hell. Barry didn't handle badge life too well. You made fun of him, so he stopped sharing things. And apart from you guys, all he had was a tortoise. His best friend. A memento of his grandma. Till he died, that is. Fuck. I don't fucking believe this. You're bullshitting me. You want proof? Nitch in the columbarium speaks for itself. Why would he lie to us, though? He talked about that tortoise like it was a normal person. How do you think Mendez would react if Barry admitted he was talking to animals? Jesus, Barry. I thought he was being a drama queen, and he'd get over it. I gotta go and talk to him. About time. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Just talk. Petrova told me your last case was a real ball buster. Boss told you to keep your lips sealed, huh? Had a similar situation once, you know? Fucking child killer. Dirt bag was on the Petrochem board, so it was out of our hands. I remember it to this day. That little kid's t-shirt. Green with this funny yellow cat. in turn has severely slowed the global economy. The governments of the world must step up to the task of opening our oceans for business once more. Call your representative today.
were gone. You're not alone in thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me, too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. Heard about the heist, I take it. Must have talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Whole damn city's hurt. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? What I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I want? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. Are you at Lizzie's? Got a good memory for faces. We're closed right now. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She and her den. Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Just don't let me catch you messing around, okay? Start again. Uh Where are you going? Nothing to see back Let here. Let it lie. Judy's friend. Stop telling every joy toy you need to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. Don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say. Moxes and nomads don't seem so different. Both seem to yammer a lot about community, solidarity. Classic dilemma. What comes first? Family or the outside world? This is world? a club. Nobody cares about your lofty world views. Susie seems to know what she wants. Is she your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the Mox? Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on her. Wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her.
Mega Tower? <laughs> Luxurious. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Okay. Give you a call. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, V. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram and a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Nobody can hold a candle to Judy. Cuts virtues like they were diamonds. Damn straight. I see the only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. What have I missed this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Arisaka and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty. Except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corpse leave it to the gang. Suits collars and gets soiled. Surprised? No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka, she could have done better. This whole situation's bent over. Cheeks spread wide. Someone's in a great mood. Not every day a half-brain dead chick drags me around a cat house on a wild horde chase. So having a grand old time. You think Judy's lying? Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. Synthetic meat, you're in for a treat. Try ours today. Whoa, hold on.
Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? You realize personal links aren't secure, right? Could get hit with malware straight to my core, into paying an arm and a leg for a ripper dock. We need data from your core to pair you up with the doll. Meaning a biometric scan? Just that. If anything goes wrong, you can lodge a complaint. But that's never happened. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Samurai. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. matches. Interesting. Is that normal, or...? Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with... unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be? Angel or Sky? Looking for an Evelyn Parker. She work here? Hmm... Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I'm not a customer. Well, all the more reason to be excited then. There's a first time for everyone at Clouds. Don't dawdle. Huh. I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. So who will it be? Angel? Or Meaning? Sky? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile, they want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. That it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. We hope you enjoy Sad. your stay. Go eat a dick, Johnny. Hi, I'm Sky. And you must be Valerie. Well, looks like this will be interesting. So, V, you're dying. How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside, you fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. There's something in those mirrors way back. It's a projection. Your inner landscape. Just what I needed. 
therapy with a robo-hooker. I'm not here to analyze you. That's not something I do. I'm here to fulfill your deepest, most hidden desire. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. Asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. You just kind of talk in circles, that it? I can't help you if you don't want to be helped. Oh, what's next? Meditation? Something like that. Try me. Just answer my question. Tell me where Evelyn is. Don't have time for a debate. Why'd the manager say she doesn't work here anymore? When was Evelyn last here? You know anything? Evelyn had her own story before it collided with yours. But I know you'll find her. You always get your way. I think you know me well. Okay. Tell me what I'm so afraid of. It's something you don't talk about. Everybody's entitled to secrets. Got my own with good reason, too. Say it. Say it out loud. Not for me, but for yourself. I snuffed it once, and I'm gonna do it all over again. Got no idea how to stop it. There. Happy. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Wasn't so long ago I really wanted that. But then all this shit happened. Seems like I was living in dreamland. I just want the world to know I was here, that I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Oh, yeah, I'm good. Got or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different. Death is death is death. You're gone. Game over. You can't know that for certain, even if you've been there and back. Believe me, I've seen it. And it's fucking boring. You haven't stopped grieving since. Or for what's to come. What I've been through... Tough to move on from that. Death was something that happened to other people. Hell that I dealt to others. Now my number will be up. Wasn't enough I died once. Have to go and do it again. Death's absurdity, the futile struggle before, these terrify you. <sighs> so what now? Now, you find out what it is you need to do. Which is? You gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should have, you go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action, going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you. going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. Need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? A lot of things been going on in my head lately, but this was different, refreshing. That's what we do at Clouds. I get why people come here. Come back. But 
I need something else. Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. You gotta help me. Please. I'm no threat. But she could be in trouble. Just wanted to talk to her, find out if she's okay. In case you haven't noticed, doll work's not the most secure job in the world. One day you're in, the next you're out. And maybe gone. Anything out of the ordinary happen here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. A customer attacked her? I guess. I don't know. Real mess that was. Security barged in, handled it. Things went silent. You don't go around asking questions here. Better off not seeing, not hearing. Keeping your head down. Where did it happen? Her booth. Told you. She was with a client. Can I just stand there or tell me a number? Eleven. This booth occupied now? Nah. I think it's been out of order since... Um... Need to get inside that booth somehow. Yeah? And do what? None of your biz. Can you open it or not? Sure. Just don't bother me again. Ever. Talk to Tom. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think? An XBD star? Where'll I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turned out to be useful after all. Every motherfucking week! You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am! No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog! I'm taking it up with you, here, now! You got any idea who I am? This gong don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, you're VIP ma Membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. We're gonna have to escort you outside.
You better keep this short and sweet. Anything. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much. Even for me. More like hard life. Something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure, uh... I don't have your details? Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. Relax. You don't need any data, don't need any deeds. I'm not a customer. Here to talk. To you, specifically. Not to be with a doll. Tom, is that it? Uh-huh. Need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. Mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so... I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left. Like I said. Where can I find this woodman? Probably got his feet up in the back office. Except it's off limits to customers. Woodman? Who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent. Deals with ugly situations. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges in these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing.
why every time do they restart the conversation where we left off? Every time. Tiger Club Moonlight is peeping toms. Always got eyes on their dolls. Know what goes on in these booths. Then, data mine the behavioral chips. Saw that twist coming a mile away. Had a hunch? Still, wonder if it's for their own use or for sale. And who'd be buying? called every last security man to the club. Looks like they called Tiger Claws for backup, too.
Shadow Shobo? Hold it there, honey. You seem to be in the wrong place. Hey, no peeking. Bad luck sings like this. What's from here? What's that? Evelyn's jacket. Crumpled like a tissue. Must have been here a while. clients allowed in here. Well, dear, close the door on the way out, would ya? As you can see, I'm very busy. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Ah, you could do better. Try Roxy over a booth, too. Same heart shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. Don't have time for your games. Need to know where Evelyn is. We're running a skin circus here, in case you haven't noticed. Not a missing persons bureau. Let me guess. You played with the doll once or twice, and now you want to run off into the sunset. Go down to reception, they'll find your soulmate 2.0 in even fewer seconds than that. I'm not leaving till I know where Evelyn is. Fine. So stand there and watch the minutes go by. Just keep your bloody mouth shut. I'm busy. You're a shit caretaker. Girls are vanishing into thin air, and you don't know who, what, when, where, why, and how. Tell you to fucking shave and clean up your act if I was your boss. Humor me, will ya? This particular piece of ass. Out of all of them. Why? She wasn't even that good. She was hot. I'll give you that. But for all the delusions of grandeur, she was nothing more than a basic whore. And like all basic whores, she got what was coming, as will you. Well, aren't you the queen of fuck-ups? You're not helping. Now what? Too bad you can't talk to dead people. Oh, wait. You're doing it now. Anyway, just scour his comp. That just might work. Sold her off to a ripper. Chip was busted. Could have sent her to get it patched up. A ripper named Fingers in a back alley for hookers. Sounds like a Joy Toy's wet dream.
to return your weapons, even though I'd rather not. Hey, I don't know anything. I just work here. Nice work back there. Ever thought of applying for the Diplomatic Corps? Don't have time to massage egos. I respect that. Of course you do. You'd have loved to drop an H-bomb on this place. No need to go so OTT. I've got other methods. One thing's for sure, though. Claus won't forget this. Think Fingers has got her? Think we'll find her there? V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now.
the hell is that? No, no, damn it! Jesus, the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. Gonna decommission before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Asked you already. What the hell you want from me? I got a get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. See, me and Arasaka, we got a half century old score neat settling. And I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. But why? Fighting for some dated ideal? Pursuing a personal vendetta? You don't need to know. Here to get me from point A to point B. Listen, I know things. Where we can save your life, who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. You know, you're just an irritating hallucination, right? J just ignore And you're you. a walking corpse. Should just wait till your mind shrivels to nothing and frees up space for me. You fucking asshole. But as should be obvious, I've decided to help you. Need to find something first. Seven letters. Starts with an M. Okay, so this... Makoshi... What is it, exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Sure. <clears throat> That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Makoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Still don't see how Makoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are you? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. <sighs> Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time, Bomb's named Alt Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is? Not yet, but you will once we find what we need. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside, Makoshi. Promised I'd call, didn't I? Promising's one thing, keeping its whole little bag. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dock goes by fingers. Oh shit. Know where to find this fingers character? Yeah, runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck me. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. 
So, it's more up your alley than clouds. Hey, at least here you know what you're getting. I know! <laughs> it's awesome, right? Let's watch the first episode. Here, Katie, Katie, what's the rush? Just the cutest thing. If you're looking for a release, I just might be your man. Got an issue needs sorting out. Here to do that. So how about you fuck off, let me through, and no one will be the wiser. So serious from the get-go? I was only joking. Sheesh. Fine. Let her through, sludge. Financial claim? Take it to court, you pussy. Hope that teaches those candy ass hey, black suckers hey. not to come around here no more. Hello! There's a line! Nuh uh, you ain't cutting. Sit your Fingers ass down and wait your you turn! Know, heard some things, yeah. Like. His hand sometimes slips. Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. Who paid for all that? Think After the heist, Evelyn holed up with the Mox for a while, right? That's right. So why the hell did she go back to Clouds? <sighs> Thought she'd be safer there. God knows why. Tried to get her to see straight, but she wouldn't listen. You talked to Fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docks in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up... Someone ain't messing around! What the hell? What the... Hey, this isn't some esquif den in Pacifica. Sit in, wait your turn. Got a couple questions. Quicker you answer, quicker we'll leave you to get back to your patients. Logical through and through. Impossible to argue with.
You see, my patient here is likely to feel ever so slightly awkward if I leave half her face off. Cutting her a really shitty deal, Doc. Faceplate's got a busted eyelid retractor. Hey, my patient is fully aware of her impending upgrades drawbacks. Consider the alternative. No eyelid at all, no faceplate to speak of. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Know she came here to your clinic. Yes, but I have a procedure I must finish. May I? Can't speak or what? Don't have time for that. I guess you'll have to wait, darling. Circumstances what they are. My fucking I can't wait! There, there, wipe away your tears. Don't want any short circuiting now, do we? You tiger claws! Far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the Mox. The Mox? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? Used to ride with nomads. Resourceful folk. Wouldn't cast aside anything until it was worn down, dead. Couldn't be fixed or reused in some other way. But what you're giving these girls? Not even nomads would touch that. <laughs> Please, let's not exaggerate. I give them what I can. You're looking for a friend? <laughs> These girls know your chip and faulty implants? You might say so. I'd say they're the very best I can find. See? What's in it for you? Whatever they have to offer. And they always have something to offer. <laughs> You're a sick fuck. Know that? You're looking for a friend? <laughs> Heard you help the working girls around here. Well, very few children will play with broken toys. So when skin goes flabby, sockets go out of whack, implants malfunction, I I'm sure you get the gist. You pay for goods, you expect top quality. Consumerism 101. Please, scrapyards offer better quality than this. Already told you. I'm looking for a woman named Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. I'll be more than glad to show you around, but um, uh, later, perhaps. Of course. What about your logs? You gotta have some kind of record. Tech like this, you don't register. Don't put any names down for it. Blue hair, doll chip, best brain dance gear ever, though damaged. Was she here? Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. Mentioned you couldn't help her. Help her with what, exactly? If I only knew, I wager she'd be standing here, happy and smiling. Instruction register on her chip was burnt to a crisp. Tried replacing it. Nothing. Any idea what caused the damage? Tech was top notch. Didn't go kerplunk on its own, that's for sure. Saying she was targeted. A net runner, as I see it. One with some serious code up their sleeve, too. Get to the point! Point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? 
Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. Don't talk to her like that. She insulted me! Look, the quicker you spill, the shorter you'll have to put up with us. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. You sure about this? Four days I had her here. She was out cold in La La Land for practically every minute. It wasn't a slumber party. We didn't have pillow fights and promised to send each other postcards. What do you mean by underground? I don't know. I mean, I don't watch that sort of stuff. Snuff? XBDs? I told you I don't know. Where will we find her? How many times do I have to repeat myself? I don't know. I, I did what anyone in my place would do. When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, I called my fixer. Two guys came and picked her up the same day. Who'd you call? Who's your fixer? Wakako. Told her I had a busted doll with a BD implant to hand off. Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gunk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gunk? What do you think? Why do all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm? Your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. These guys, what did they look like? Like you, me, anyone else in this city. Really now, they looked like you. They looked like the kind of guys you don't make eye contact with. One of them was a bearded fellow. The two that came for her didn't say anything about where they'd take her, what they were gonna do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. Need air. I'll be outside. Judy's right. People like you make this city a living hell. Day in, day out. You got what you wanted, didn't you? So get the fuck out of here! I let her go back to clouds. I could have stopped her, but I didn't. Don't worry. We'll find her. I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey! Keep it together! Wanna give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. Better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Death's head symbol bring anything to mind. Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This industry... I mean, market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfit would be on the move almost always. Makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. Need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. Could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Got a better idea. 
Matter of fact, I do. A domain called Pleasures of Night City. There's a twin of it on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Let me think for a sec. Darknet domain. That's our best bet. Let's stick to the plan. Fine. Here's hoping you turn up something useful. I'll wait in the van. Untouched. Raw's all you get with me. What? I'll come back some other time. Betting on it. How about you? You buying or just gonna stand there like a pig undercover? What have you got? Virtues. Any special kind? Well, let me put it to you this way. Those who know... Don't need to ask. Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? You a badge? Cops are like kids. Mommy and Daddy wouldn't let them go off on their lonesome. All right, all right. Can't be too careful. What do you want? Give me the best of the best. Ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head'll cost you, though. How about a discount for your newest customer? Only give regulars discounts. If you're short, then fuck off. I'm no connoisseur, trust me. Huh, <sighs> sure. All I need to know is who makes them and where. Now listen, I just sell whatever sells. Nice, calm job. Let me see some eddies. You can pick one. Parse it, and I won't care a hair. Where do you get these scrolls? Said you weren't a pig. Just curious, that's all. Once you booted up your virtue, dare say your curiosity will be satisfied. People that make these, <laughs> obsessed with privacy. Never even occurred to me to ask where they're from. To which caution I probably owe the fact that I'm still alive, talking to you. 
Got anything that might interest me? Pleasure doing biz with you. Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one, too. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. You might catch something. Gav, gotta be. No one else with that kind of fashion sense. Ordered recently. Christ, it's hot. Thermal readings are off the charts. Keep looking. Electric cork patch on the coveralls. Coveralls had a patch on them. Electric corp. Mm, could be a costume. A prop? Factory worker fetish? Hard as hell to believe. Hmm. Did it explain the higher thermal readings, too? You could be onto something. Can't beat that rich synth cough aroma. Cheap shit. Cold too. Mm-hmm. Buck a slice. Scab woman. <laughs> Who knew that sides chopping people up, they were scrolling XBDs. Okay. We're looking for ordinary coffee was cold. Like from the day before. BC used to have Pizza looked fresh. Standard for Sorry. a trash heap. Means someone's grabbing buck a slice regularly. Which is not something one does for the flavor and fresh ingredients. Pizza shares its DNA with styrofoam. Nobody's gonna schlep across town for it. <laughs> Radio's turned way up. Probably to drown out the screaming. Shit like that before. Sounds like scabs to me. <laughs> Poor fucker.
Here we go. Old Electric Corp power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with that for now. Nothing else to garner from this school. No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me? Let's get going. On our way. Still can't shake it. That virtue sample we saw with the death said moth. If all they scroll is snuff, then... Stop it. It'd have to be utter gongs to waste her on something like that. What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street. Going in? Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. It's not gonna be pretty in there. So? If you mean to tell me to hang back altogether, don't bother. All right, going in.
What do you mean, almost? Grab a crate and get your ass. It's my break. I have better things to do. Come out. What now? Nicola! and fucking fun. things to do. Come out! Search and fucking find. Got the blueprint. Be there in a sec. Try to find a way to the lower level. Found a way down. You see my position? 
Yep, be there in a sec. Wait for me. Hey, hold up. I'm close. I'm here. We need to get to level minus two. Bet that's where they're keeping her. Here, that shirt. Without a doubt. We don't have enough methylene in her today's batch. Smells like propyl methionine. Must out. be cooking RPM here. RPM. Used to sprinkle it on my breakfast. Back in the samurai days, we'd place ads in this thing looking for background. like you weren't the only ones with bright ideas. It was a veritable gold mine of women.
one year without formal prosecution. The NCPD scored another victory with the adoption of a policy allowing the shooting of a limb to be considered a warning shot, a change that should keep officers safer. The Night City Office of Cybernetic Technology has been formally dissolved as a result of budget cuts. The office formerly responsible for implant certification will shutter its doors next Tuesday. Way down. This new one is the next level. They are cut. They're Gutted out all her implants. And why stop there? Took a few internal organs while they were at it. How so very resourceful. many you stamp out, there'll always be more crawling around somewhere. Figure you've made their acquaintance. Afraid so.
Молись, чтобы мы тебя не нашли. Close to the studio, I think. You find anything useful? Read up the elevator. Should be easier to get out of here. You really don't fuck around, do you? Wait one sec for me. Evelyn, just don't touch her. If she's recording, you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link. I see her. Cable two. Grab it and tell me when you're gonna yank it. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. All right, let's do this. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? And... Thank God. Ev? Evelyn, you hear me? She okay to be moved? No brain hemorrhages, damage to the spine? It doesn't seem to have any wounds. Guess we got no choice. What's wrong with her? Honestly, I don't know. Jerking around the cable probably didn't help. Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. Which way? I sealed the doors and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. Come on, is it really that hard? Please, just one. For me? Fine, have it your way. Smoke to your lungs content. Ah, oh, finally. Something better than exhaust in the stench of the city. Don't tell me you don't feel it, too. We going in? Let's give him a couple. You saw how she looked. If it was up to me, I would have splashed some water on her face back at the studio and asked her straight up. It's not up to you, though, is it? Let's go.
She's sleeping. Uh, at least I think she is. Her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore. I would have already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. How's she feeling? Use your imagination. That place sucked every last drop of humanity from her. It's not enough. She already gave up everything she had. I just kept taking more and more. She's in some kind of trance, like she's folded into herself. No reaction to her surroundings whatsoever. I really, really didn't want to poke around in her head. I did it for you. I just want you to know that. I need to talk to her. Listen, I know you've got some serious questions that she's got the answers to. I mean, if I were you, I'd want to know too. But it's just not gonna happen. She's completely out of it. You've got to be fucking kidding me. You're mad at her. Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any- I know. It's okay. So I don't get why- You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. Guessing you saw them already. Yeah. Had to wrestle to make sense of the whole thing. But I don't want to say anything and taint your perspective. You should go in with fresh eyes. How many BDs did you manage to rip? Two. Only one of them's intact. Understandable, though. The rest... Well, they're in the same shape as Evelyn right now. Okay. Show me. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. I'll be the first to admit, this does not look good. Hey, how you feeling? Need anything? Not here to nag. Just talk. Listen, Evelyn, I really need your help. It's important. If I don't do anything and do it soon, I'll die. Well, now, look at you. Have a seat. All right, roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage him in the first place. Needs a second to load. Quality's lousy, but I did what I could. What am I looking out for? Every single piece of it. Take a look it's around if you want. Can't see her face. Under normal circumstances, that kind of encryption's easy to crack. But not this time. Whoever she is, she's got serious net running skills. That, or someone's working it for her. <sighs> I think I recognize these. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them, though. Who? Could be the Voodoo Boys. But that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. The spine chilling Netrunner crew? Hard to find, because they don't want to be. I wouldn't know where to start. Every single piece of tech I see? Security? We need a layout of the whole room. 
We will get everything else we need from their virtue. What about his messages? Only if you can do it and be parfait, Bori. It's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself, uh, should I... Biochip? Were you here? Were you... Sure. Yeah. Might not be important. Maybe, but all of them are from Pacifica. Narrows down our search, at least. What now? Looks like I'm going on a field trip to Pacifica. Himself? Uh, should I... Bioship? Will you hear this? That is not of interest to you. You spin the virtue, you come back here. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. The rest is none of your concern. Understand. All right, think we got everything. What do you think? Woman who hired Evelyn. Any idea who we're up against? Your guess is as good as mine. Sorry, V. Now we know what happened at Clouds. They're the ones who tried to flatline her. Launched a nuke at her chip. So it was punishment? For getting played by her? She knew more than they thought she knew. Couldn't let that go. So that's who she was running from. Looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me. If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into... Ugh, I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. Pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swipe the biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. We oui. oui, are What language is she speaking? Dunno. Haitian Creole. It is the Voodoo Boys. Didn't I? Wait, let me see if I've got an auto translator. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. See what the other side's saying. Got it. Give it a second. You. Hey, like you. You. Hey, like you. Heard her mention you're an over. Probably why Evelyn is this aller. recording deep. We. Oui. Cut another name. We have to know what they're saying. It could be important. Fine. Just found the auto transfer package. Should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. Si tu peux déjà aller. Oui. Oui, allez. Vous avez une raison, vous êtes tout intelligent pour ça, pour te y bien. Vous pensez que vous avez fait un problème? Vous n'avez pas enragé. En plus, c'est le plus bon moyen de nous gagner pour nous arriver sur le monde. Il faut que nous prenions chance là. Je suis arrivé à la même chose avec vous. Qui est-ce que vous avez appris à nous tirer sur Alt? Vous avez une plus bonne idée? Très bien. Si vous décidez si c'est pour critiquer ça, je pense. Je continue à faire le travail. Okay, Judy, we're good. All right, disconnecting. I don't get it. What's this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died, like, forever ago. V, you got any idea? Biochip we stole? It's... Got Silverhand's engram burned onto it. Engram? Digitized psyche. Personality construct. K 
Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff in my head. Uh, um, of course. Know who they are, who the woman is? Any idea how we find them? Fuck, V. I've been dead the last half century. Sorry if I'm unable to hand you all the answers on a chrome fucking platter when you snap your fingers. These people, what could they want from Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that Netrunner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that Juju Wirehead, okay? Wait, you got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? Why? Worried that I'll give Evelyn up to him? No. I didn't trust you at first, but... Well, if you wanted to get back at Evelyn, you would have done it already. So why the worried look? I just... I want it all to work out for you. You got a plan? I'll ask around. Make a few calls. Let me put it this way. The Voodoo Boys wouldn't trust a cat if it walked onto their turf. But someone's gotta know a way in. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. Thanks, Judy. No, V. Thank you. You're a... You're a good person. Evelyn could never see what was under people's skin. If she could have gotten to know you a bit better, then... Who knows? Things might have turned out differently. You need to make contact with the Voodoo Boy's chief if you can swing it. All right, all right. Straight to heavy business. Hmm. Now, that'd be Maman Brigitte. Be tough getting a word into her. Uh, I was led to believe you could arrange anything. Ah! Now that sounded like my third wife every time she wanted a new purse. Maman Brigitte? That sounds like a spooky cult alias. Have not had the pleasure of asking her personally, but it is what everybody calls her. Doubt the title has any real religious weight, though. Voodoo boys play pretty fast and loose with their Haitian heritage. Really don't do any biz with them? Not with the chefs, chefins, priests, and whatnot. All got dirigible-sized egos, won't talk to lowly me. But if you insist, I can ask around, try to set something up. I'll just need some details first. Sorry, it's personal. Well, that's fucking helpful. <sighs> Got something they want. Truly? Want to sell something to the VDBs? Trust me, they don't want it, they don't need it. They're isolated, insulated, they got their own contracts, tech, networks. But, have it your way. Okay, I'll see what I can do and get back to you. Chasing 
Get you anything? Chula mine earned a spot on the moon again. That Chulo bowl with the bun? Yeah, I was sorry to hear. Remember his drink? The recipe? Vodka on the rocks, lime juice, and ginger beer. Splash of love. That's right. In the drink's name. A Jackie Wells. Right. Well, the first Jackie Wells is on me. Thanks, Claire. No problem. Just holler if you need anything. This is booming, I hope. See it yourself. Can't complain. Folks always get thirsty, and we're here when they do. How's the afterlife? Working here, I mean. No real complaints. Fights are rare, and when they do happen, they're over quick. Killer or clientele, am I right? Your words, not mine. Could definitely go for a drink. Tough day? Like any other. So, what'll it be? Ever need help with something? Just give me a holler. Let's not get too cocky, all right? You did Regina, and I both favor. Not like we're about to forget that anytime soon. The life of a merc's got its ups and downs. Next time, it'll be me pulling you out of some colossal fuck up. So long as I got the eddies on. Am I right? <laughs> Ain't wrong. Here to see Rogue, expecting me. Hey Rogue, I'm back. What about Hellman? Two, please. Make some room. Sit down. I hope you found him. Don't see that often. Determination like yours. Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while, either. Bottle stays. Go ahead. Enjoy. To your health. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Think she'll help? The rogue I remember was one cold ass bitch. But she usually went with her gut. Something tells me she thinks you check out. Let's see what you got. Your helmet's not on any payroll, not officially anyway, but he does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Probably keeping him hidden from Arasaka. Must have worked on a top secret project. Mm-hmm. Hidden from Arasaka or any other megacorp that wants what he knows. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table, but catch the load on this AV. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan T. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. There it is. 
Data's all confidential. You just snap your fingers and it falls in your lap. I know where to look, and I know whose head to put in a vice. Also, hate wasting time, especially answering stupid questions. So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Mm-hmm. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look, their backup hustle will be on us. But right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city, and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. The dead zone. I'll grab him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. Even tracking that AV will be a bitch. Familiar with the type. Saw legacy models flying around during the war. Mammoth, but they're quick. Plus, they pack next-gen defenses. Can't take pot shots at it, not even with serious firepower. Just won't work. It's not about firepower. There are ways, and people who know them. Or who can at least improvise on a theme. So a native. Know any hick mercs? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. She can't count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands. And she will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? Does not sound enticing. Not for her, not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Nab and Hellman. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Hmm. Can't be trusted if her clan banished her. Sorry, just not willing to pay you for help like that. Actually, she walked away. Said it was about the family, its future, nomad ideals, blah, 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 blah. I stopped listening a few words in. Thought you preferred to know who you're dealing with. I know enough. Besides, when someone starts spouting ideals, it's probably about something else. Power, usually. Fortunately, not my biz, not yours. Pan Am's capable and stands to help you. That's all you need to know. Seems swanky to me. Nomads give the city, city folk, a wide berth. Varies by clan, by the connections they have, the depth of shit they're in. But you're right. Alda Caldos are rarely willing to do biz with the city. Pan Am's got a different take? Yep, on everything, it seems. Why is Pan Am gotta help me? I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. She ran into a hitch. Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. Means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Guess I can try to help her, but if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. You know, but wouldn't tell Pan Am. Aim to play cat and mouse with me, too? My aim is to know an opportunity when I see one, and then to seize it. Say I told her everything. What do you think she'd have done? Grabbed her iron and gone on the warpath, that's what. Not hard to see how that could end it. And there's nothing I hate more than losing good people to plain stupidity. <laughs> I'm her only chance, and she's my only chance. Two pawns on Rogue's board. You're quick. For a pawn. No, V. Fine, let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Ah, uh, finally. Let's All get clear. out of here. Thanks. Good luck. Hey! Hey! Come here, let's talk. Did you anything? Forget something? Where? How did you even get this number? 
from Rogue. Ah, uh, great. Fuck. Where's that old warhorse want to kick me now? Forget Rogue for a minute. I want to help you. Oh, very kind. But it's far too little, far too late. So do tell Rogue she can eat my shorts. Tell it to your therapist. Calling about your ride and the merch you lost. Interested? Or are you gonna tell me to eat your shorts too? The rail freight yard on Benita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See ya. your lucky day. You hear Pacifica call and you make sweet love to it, that is. Got something for me? Well, it's like I said. Whatever you're peddling, the VTBS are just not in the market. But they have another task that needs doing, so I volunteered you. Do it well, and you'll get your audience with Brigitte. What's this task needs doing? What? You're gonna go picky on me now? The contact will fill you in on the deets. I got zero from him. Actually, got the impression I'd have to pay for every word out of his mouth. Okay, so who do I talk to and how? Hit the chapel on Sloan. Look for the altar inside. Someone will touch you, nod to you. Something spooky. Got it, thanks.
Hey, Pan Am? So you're V. Where's my car? Why does it matter? What's wrong with this one? It's borrowed. It's not mine. I asked where my car is. <clears throat> Agree to help me, you'll find out. Oh, fuck no. You will not jerk me around. Tell me where my car is. Hey, come on. Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. Fine. Know where to find the cargo and your car. But you go alone, you won't get him back. And you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. What do you want? One guy I gotta talk to. A corpo traveling by corp convoy. No, I don't do abductions. Besides, you'd need many more bodies and heaps of gear to take a convoy. It's just one AV. Planned route will take it over Jackson Plains. Fuck. In return, info on your cargo. Help in getting back what's yours. They got a deal? I don't know. I... Shit! All right, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? Thought this was mostly about the merch. Fuck the merch. With that ride, I can take any transport job in town. Without it, the only thing I can move is pizza. Maybe. Cars in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that is. Cars there, goods are there. Nash, you dirt-eating bastard. I will strangle you. Nash a chum of yours? He hang you out to dry? Do not call him that. Fine. Partner. Former. If ever. The shift tricked me. Straight nipped my truck and the merch. Probably now aims to sell it off in Rocky Ridge. Is he ever going to be fucking disappointed? Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I, I, I should think this through. Yes. We'll need backup. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Wanna tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drum. Boz! Hey! Nash is gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is... The motherfucker screwed me over. Boz, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Boz, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? You have my word. After dark? Okay. No, don't call off the meat. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, Boz. You won't regret this. Okay. I have bought us some time. Who the hell's Boz? Won't cause us any grief, I hope. Boz is a stand-up guy. Sixth Street. You drive for gang goons. Is that not allowed? Street punks need things moved. I need money like anyone else. So, where to now? The Alda Caldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Don't seem too excited. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. You know, used to ride with nomads, too. Truly? I never would have guessed. Yep, backer clan, back in the day. Didn't work out between us, so I landed in Night City. So we have something in common after all. Rogue mentioned your friends. Said you guys stopped seeing eye to eye. Well, since Rogue said so, it must be true. It isn't? You mean to irritate me. Okay, then. It was just a hiccup. They're still family. So it's complicated. You might say so. Yes. Any chance they might help us in Rocky Ridge? That is the plan. Good, let's roll. Get in.
Well, get in. Nice ride. Lots of space. Practical. Say no more. Please. How far is the camp? Just past the city line. We'll jump on the nine and head east. How the hell did you land in this mess? I like the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. You know I don't mean the car. What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamn fool? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. And I'm running out of time to get it. So why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue, do better not to worry what her agenda might be. God damn, I can't stand the bitch. Guess you'll have to ask her yourself. Oh, I'll be sure to. I'll especially ask why she told me to work with Nash, yet forgot to mention he was Raffin. But seriously, didn't realize Nash was Raffin? No, the sneak forgot to show me his shiv card. Don't you keep track of who's in the area? The wraiths, right? Until now, they mostly jumped corporate transporters down by Highway 64. I see you know things. No mad blood. Must have had her reasons. You don't say. Rogue won't open her mouth without weighing the for and against. What to spill and what to withhold. Almost there. We'll gather my guys, then ride to Rocky Ridge. What the cat dragged in. Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Mm hmm. And who's this? My babysitter. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. Hey guys. Hello. What brings you to these parts, city girl? The big city got too small for her. Do you have any idea how angry the old man's gonna be when he sees you here? I've just come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. The Raffin screwed me over. I'll get them back, but I need your help. Come with me. We'll thrash them, the four of us. You know, we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now's hard. Seriously? You won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? We'll manage without them. Shut it. Don't be a dick, Mitch. Help me. 
Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. And am. This isn't about Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Listen, we can't leave camp. No chance. But... But Saul never said a thing about gear. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want. And take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear, then be out of your hair. Looks like you're stuck with me. Mm-hmm. You disappointed? I don't know. Maybe a little, yes. Hey, Pan Am. Are you staying a while? No, I'll be going again soon. Well, no, I'll be going again soon. We'll talk next time. Hey, Pan Am. Have you brought someone new? Does Saul know? Not your concern, friend. Will you help me with this? What's inside? A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. All right, that's everything. Let's go. Did you figure out your differences with Saul? Will you come back? Next time, Ellie. I promise. So, I'm off. Yeah, yeah, go on, go already. Call us sometime. Keep an eye on her, V. Put it in the trunk. We can go. Hop in. Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. The best friends a girl could ask for. I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. Yet the clan comes first. But I'm not part of it anymore. Still treated you like you're one of them. They care about you. Mm-hmm. Do you have anyone you would call close? Not right now, no. Could just be a matter of time, though. <laughs> okay. Were those two in the army? Scorp and Mitch? Yeah. Panzer boys. They were on contract during the last war. Panzer boys? Flew those huge transporters? Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. They both got some kick-ass combat implants and a stack of really fucked up nightmares. So, Rocky Ridge. Empty, dusty hole in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I heard. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out then you know almost all there is to know. The whole area was waiting on a new interstate extension. It was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen, of course. How many ghost towns do you think are there? Hundreds? Countrywide? Thousands. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. And you hear it. What's that? The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. That's how towns die. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers. Seems you got a real problem with authority. What? Rogue? Saul? Your leader? Their leader. Seemed in a hurry to delta the hell out of there. 
Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. What happened? The reason we came to California was because he promised to change for the Alda Caldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. Okay, we have arrived. What do we do? We get ready to greet the Raffins, and we have little time for that. We'll need to improvise. We should scout first, to look for anything that might be useful. That rocky ridge could be any deader. Everything's down, well, nothing works. Have you here. found anything? No dice. Nothing's up, all cut off. Well, we'll make it work. The Raffins will roll in after dusk. We will have a surprise ready for them. We just need to get some power flowing. Let's check the substation. Okay. But there's no juice on them! Not to worry! Come down! I know how to surprise the bastards! Right. So, the intersection is powered from that transformer substation, right? The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the switch there and everything will light up like Christmas. Understood? Fine idea. Let's get us some power. I'll look around for access points. Great. They're likely to show up in numbers. We can't know how many. We need to outfox them, then get to my car somehow. Relax. Got a few ideas. I'll try to play a little game with them at the intersection. Hell yes. Perfect. As soon as they see the lights, they'll have to check who, why, and how. Nova. Yep. First we start up the control terminal below. The gear on the roof is a hunk of junk without it. Come on, we'll give it a boost from the car battery. That should do the trick. Wait for me by the substation. I'll bring the car around. The panel looks to be in good shape. I'll make a bypass circuit to the power supply. That should do it. We'll just have to get it up and running. Grab the jumper cables from the trunk. We'll boost it from the car battery. Red cable connected. Give me a moment. I need to hook everything up here. And done. Now the Black Rattler. There she goes. Thought the old jalopy served us well. Okay, I've got voltage. Start the terminal inside. And once the power is on in the building, get on that roof. You got it. I'll set up on the tower. We'll have the whole intersection on the platter. You flip the breakers when I give you the signal to do so, understood? Yes, ma'am.
Switch gear's got power. Prime. We'll have some fun at the intersection. Let's get into position. Wait. Remember, as soon as we see them, you give us power. Raffins will come from where? Any idea? The northeast, I wager. From the freeway that was never finished. Got it. Cover me, just in case. Of course. They're rolling in. And my thorn! You see her? Really, really hard to miss. Let's take them by surprise. Let's try to do this quietly. If anything happens, I'll start picking them up. Sound good? Sounds great. Where's the son of a bitch, boss? You, wait for him here. Get good and ready. The show starts now. Let there be light. Grab the car. The driver has it. This looks deserted to you.
Move. I'll take the wheel. There. Couldn't wait another minute, could ya? At last. She's prime wheels, isn't she? Dreamy indeed. No surprise you wanted her back. She completes me. See? Managed just fine without Mitch and Scorpion. Listen, V, it's not over yet. It's not? You got the cargo, you got your car. I did not get Nash, who was not in Rocky Ridge. The fucker didn't show. So it was about vengeance. The whole time. The hell you know about me? Either you're not being straight with me, or you don't know what you want. Hard to say which is Just worse. listen to me, for fuck's sake! I know where their little hidey hole is. We'll take the old unfinished freeway nearby. They will not be expecting us. I'm sure of it. Ugh, <sighs> all right. So where's this hideout? A hop and skip away. Thanks, V. What Nash did. I placed my trust in him. He was the first person I worked with after leaving the Aldecaldos. After I came to Night City. And I granted him my trust. I get it. Now how you feel. Had someone betray me just like that once. And did you make them pay? Never got the chance. Someone else got to him first. But if they had it, would you have done it? There's one thing I've learned in Night City. It's that sometimes revenge is not sweet. Always stand to lose more than you might gain. I don't think I'll ever play by Night City rules. Are you ready? Let's get him.
on the loot. Hello, Rogue. Pan Am. What did you say again? Solve your own problems? Clean up your shit? Nash is dead. One shit cleaned. Happy? And the 6th Street merch? Nash can't deliver it anymore. But if you ask nicely, I might be able to help you. Help me? I take my cut up front, honey. But I guess I'm touched. Was actually wondering if you wouldn't forget about Biz while you were out chasing down a vendetta. Fuck! This thing with Rogue. Let it go, maybe? Why should I? Because she's not worth another goddamn minute of your time. Let's go.
One bitter cold bitch that broke. Think she might have lost the plot. Mean to say she used to be sweet and alluring? Huh. <laughs> Never that. But she's no stranger to the other end of the stick. Think she might need a nice strong shock. Hey, boss. Got your cargo. No, no fast ones. Come on, let's meet. Sunset Motel. I know you're not kidding. I'm certain to be there. Okay, I arranged our meeting. Let's do the deal and start working on Hellman. Agreed? Sixth Street not likely to pull anything? I've driven for them before. Never had them do anything strange. I'm hoping they know what's good for business. Sunset Motel? What's that? A safe spot. It's not far from here. Should be fun. They're here. Let me do the talking. Sensing trouble? No. At least I don't think so. Hey, boss. Pan Am! How's Nash? Didn't seem to be answering his phone. Don't call him anymore. There's no need. <laughs> you got balls, girl. What's this? A bonus of some sort? We work together. Hmm. Change tunes like you change clothes, girl. There. First class merch. Uh huh. So, everything's in order? Check your account. Should be pretty plush in a couple minutes. It's been a pleasure. But I believe Rogue's the one who is to pay me. You're all right. Think you earned a tip. Let's roll. That went well. Come on. Let's get a drink. Raffin's wiped, Six Street's pleased. Pretty good day for Pan Am Palmer. The day's not over yet. You still have a chance to piss me off. Noah. Hey, new biz or new friends back there? Take a wild guess. Is everything good with you? Did those bozos come around again? Raffins? Nah, it's been quiet. They'll be back sure enough. This place has seen worse. What can I get you? Brosif. Two of them. So that package for Street, what was it? You didn't peek? Valoperidol. Drugs for the cyber psychos in our midst. They trading them? Yes. They have deals. With black clinics, rippers. Well, here's to that thorn of yours. Thanks for everything, partner. Another one over here. Thanks, Noah. Cheers. 
Let me know if you need anything else. The Alta Caldos. Think you'll ever go back? I mean, not right now, but... Someday. I don't rightly know. On the one hand, I don't have anyone outside the clan. Shit, I don't really know any other life. But on the other? Without my clan, who am I? Who would I become if I stayed in Night City? Had to leave my clan, too. Oh, yeah, I remember. Backer family, right? Mm-hmm. Then I came to Night City. Saw my chance. Took it. And? And I lost almost everything. Shit. That's comforting. Let's talk about something else. Anything else. The Raffins. We done with them? Oh, no. The shiver cockroaches. One's never rid of them. But it should be quiet for a time. They'll need to gather their wits and dust themselves off. All right. Time we look to my needs. What's the plan for Hellman? I've come up with a plan. A first draft. But I need to sleep on it. Work it out. Then we can talk about the details. I think it best to rent rooms here. Just to stay in the area. We'll get to work around midnight. It'll help keep us out of sight. Agreed? You know what? What do you say we meet back here later? Got things to do in town. Whatever you want. Just come back by midnight. Noah, I'll need a room. Just for tonight. Catch you later.
I think I know you. I'm Claire. You might not remember me. Bartender at the afterlife? Uh-oh. Forgot to close my tab. Mara's a buzz about you lately. It's the Mark who's reliable, gets things done. And since I need help... Okay. I need a driver for street races. Drop by my auto shop. I'll tell you more. Your garage. Where is it? In Arroyo, on Valley. Lovely spot. Can't miss it. All right. Try not to. If I'm not there when you arrive, just hang. I'll show up after my shift at the after. Okay. See you, Claire.
can lead a horse to water, but you can't make her drink. Now, I've been trying to work with Iris Tanner for years, but the stubborn mare always brushes me off. Kind requests, the promise of good pay, none of it helped. Always the same response. I don't do biz with fixers. But today she has changed her tune. <laughs> and why? She's been kidnapped by wraiths. <laughs> Pettiness aside, if you help her, I bet she will finally toss me a bone. The gig details are attached. Go fetch V.
Took you long enough. Iris Tanner, I'm supposed to get you out of here. They didn't hurt you. No, we were still in the negotiation phase. They made a pretty solid case, so it was only a matter of time. Push came to shove, I'd rather slave under Raffin than be chopped into little pieces. We best get a move on. I'm not going anywhere without my ride. It's sitting in the garage. That wasn't in the spec. At least tell me it's fast. Fast, this ride of yours? No, it wasn't the spec. And no, it's not particularly fast, either. Let's say it's between you and me, huh? I'll make it worth your while. We'll see how things play out. Thanks for taking care of my ride. Don't mention it. Why didn't you want to work with Dakota before? I'm not crazy about fixers. Might as well be pimps without the special favors. Right. I prefer lining up my own clients, laying by my own rules. When you're a lone wolf, there's no fixers waiting to steal a cut of your hard-earned cash. So I take it this is an exception? And the last, hopefully.
Watch your my sister. Dakota. Iris Tanner, as per your request. Sister. Cut the bullshit, all right? I'm no one's sister. Just tell me what I have to do. After that, we're even. She's not crazy about fixers. No horse likes its saddle until it's hungry. Only horse you've ever seen is in a picture book. Thanks for everything, B. Happy to return the favor sometime. Just make sure you get what she owes you. V has nothing to worry about. Thanks. Nice doing biz with you. I'm listening. Thought nomads were always on the move. You stayed put? They call us statics, but you're also necessary. Somebody must take care of those who come and go. Yeah. Take care of them. For the right cut. Indeed. Tell me about the Badlands. Not much going on out here, huh? Oh, contrary, if you has your eyes on This is an ecosystem. Nomads, raccoon shifts, corporations, and drifters, they form a complete whole. Remove one part, the delicate balance topples. Thought nomads were always on the move. You stayed put. Well, duty calls.
from here. Del? Virus in my core. Damaged. Please. Please. Tell me about Santo Domingo. A lot of people tried to get a foothold here. Corpos, gangs, none of them made it. But real people live here in Arroyo and Rancho Coronado. Can't pull the wool over their eyes. We are the blood and guts of this city. Why El Capitan? The people, they're grateful. They show me respect because I put them first. Well, a true altruist. Corpo world's a disease. Power's gotta get back in the hands of the people. And we'll do it. You'll see. How's biz? I don't care for the word biz. I call it work. Hard work. Honest work. And I can't complain. You know, I'm starting to get used to these little meetings. I sense you have many questions. I may answer only one. Who are you? And why do you keep disappearing? You can only ask one question. You cannot climb on two separate trees at once. Are you fucking serious? Cursing also cleanses the soul. Are you ready for the final meditation technique? The last one? Yes. It will cost however much you want. Hope this'll do. I will guide you through the meditation. This is a meditation of the air element. We are in the mountains, heading toward the peak. We squeeze between two boulders. On the first boulder sits an eagle. The spirit of the air passes through every fiber of this eagle. Spirit of the air, primordial wind, I send you greetings. We are of one blood, you and I. You are within me, and I am within you. Without you, life would not last even a few minutes. So vital are you to us. Oh, great spirit of the air, please. Cleanse my body and soul. Relinquish pain, sickness, the negative energy from negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Give me the energy of life. Give me health. 
wisdom, knowledge, strength, joy, happiness, and lasting inner peace. I am an eagle. The wind cushions my wings, caresses my feathers, enters every fiber of my body, fills the spaces of every atom and molecule. The wind cleanses the body, the soul, and the subtle body. Circling upwards, we rise up high. We feel lightness, purity, joy. Our body is filled with happiness, peace, and harmony. We thank you, Spirit of the Air, with our mind, body, and soul. He's gone. Well, at least he left something. Fuck, I feel like a dog's shit. See that? There there was a Zen master here. Poof, vanished like that. The fuck are you talking about? He... he taught me how to meditate. It was kind of weird. Not my scene. Go and talk to... to Misty if it bothers you. Eh, good idea.
Hey, Judy, what's up? V, can you come over, Stat? Something happened? Yeah. Just come. Come on, baby. Uh, Claire? Under the rig. Hey, Claire. Hell of a machine. Mm. You know your shit, and you've got good taste. Meat beast. My pride and joy. Beer in the fridge if you want any. Thanks. So what's this about? Need a driver. Thought you might do. What's the race like? Any special rules? Lack of them, actually. You race in pairs. Driver and gunner. So, you a turret guru or a driver's ed dropout? I'm more an engine tuner. Good at it, too. And I shoot, but I'm no rally racer. I trust you're capable behind the wheel. But this won't be your first time out, will it? Don't worry. Done my fair share of rounds. And your last driver? They quit? In a way, died in a race a year back. Ah, uh, sorry. Sure, Claire. I'll be your driver. Okay, we got four races. First one's in city center. That'll be followed by the Badlands and Santo, then Watson to finish. Is there a carrot we're chasing after? First place gets a payout. That happens, we split it 50-50. Sound fair? Got goosebumps already. When do we start? There's a qualifying ladder. Need to climb it to reach the finals. How high? Top three in at least two rallies gets our ticket stamped. Let's meet in city center. I'll snap you the specifics. You hear the roar of overtuned monsters? That's the place. See you there. Savings 
from these cuts could amount to upwards of 20 billion euro dollars. According to sources close to the CEO, the sales initial boom will be used to fund new research and development centers. Though long considered a black sheep in the RSI legacy, Yori Nobu has apparently erased investors' doubts. After a shaky start, Fingerprints detected. The fuck? Increasing volume by 33%. New fingerprints detected. What? What the hell are you? User inquiry. Technical specifications. HJKE11 smart gun with built-in AI. Experimental model. Name. Skippy. <laughs> Skippy. Seriously. Increasing volume by 66%. Name. I'm not deaf. Understood. Hearing within norm. Possible issue. Low IQ. Reducing speech rate by 33%. My name is Skippy. No, it's just... Oh, never mind. Guy by the dumpster. That's your owner? Checking memory. Resources available. 100%. All files removed manually. Possible cause, theft. Original owner, no data. Suggested solution, none. I got one. I'll take you. Processing request. No objections found. Can I change your name? No. Why not? Considering I'm your new owner. Increasing volume by 300%. <laughs> Administrator rights are needed to complete that action. You do not have the required permissions. You still got all your functions. Running system diagnostics. Testing will take approximately 47 seconds. Bum, bum, be dumb, bum, what? bum, be dumb. What are you bum. doing? I'm making the wait more pleasant with a soothing melody. Bum, bum, be dumb, bum, bum, be dumb, bum. Test successfully completed. The program Skippy version 0.01 Alpha is running correctly. All right, so what can you do besides talk my ear off? Primary feature, automated targeting. In case of critical threat to user, autonomous shooting capabilities. Please choose one of two operating modes. First mode, puppy loving pacifist. I will aim at the enemy's lower extremities. Second mode, Stone Cold Killer. I will aim exclusively at the head. Um, well, guess I'll go with Puppy Loving Pacifist. Adjusting settings. Bum, bum, be dumb, bum, bum, be dumb, bum. Ugh. Selected mode. Puppy Loving Pacifist. Enjoy permanently crippling your enemies.
Hear me all right?
Understand the truth and set him free. Think he might know what's best for himself. Could be risking a lot. Could lose a lot. Or by liberating his bits, could become more than a lipstick-wearing butler on wheels. And what if it really is a virus? And what if you're about to snuff out some sentient beings? See something of yourself in him, don't you? Gonna murder a cab driver's kids because he asked you nicely, and he's always been a good guy. Well, I gotta do something. If you don't want to free him, at least don't delete him. Slip him into Dell's code. Just merge him in his options. Delamain? 
I'm delighted to welcome you to your first Delamain experience. How might I assist you? It's me, V. A pleasure to meet you, V. Are you familiar with the benefits of our Excelsior plan? What... What happened to your other... yous? Do you mean the virus? According to my logs, I can confirm said anomalies were wiped when my previous data version was restored. Don't remember me, do you? Of course I know who you are. According to my data archive, you're the contractor who purged my system of the virus. Well done, contractor. Damn shame. Come on, Johnny. No rest for the wicked. Take care, Del. Guess we gotta start from scratch. I've something else for you. I just accessed a detailed record of your commission task. And what did you put in there? As a result of preparations made by my previous version, I'm pleased to inform you that you are now the proud owner of a vehicle in my fleet. Huh. Thanks. Hop in. I trust it shall serve you well. It's hey, secret doors. I need to talk about the squad. Take like your whole Only line of peeps. No sure, when so I was scared out beyond all recognition. Results. You will be entering Tiger Claw territory. Very high risk. More information attached. to those doors or a shitter flushing somewhere who knows
Looks like Leo went to the Tiger Claws behind Waco's back. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Claws aren't the deal honoring type. Let's see if she got lucky. A pleasure as always to share the road with you, madam. Hey, how you been? Very well, thank you. I feel today will prove an exceptional day. Oh, yeah? Any reason why? I've made a breakthrough in my research and development that will allow the Delamay network to spread its wings. That does sound exceptional. I won't bore you with the details. After all, no one likes a chatty driver. We'll talk again soon.
Reminds me of this one dive in a royal we used to sometimes do sets in Friday nights. Because... Because it was one tough fucking joint. One wrong word, one sideways glance, and you'd get steel between the ribs.
So many people died for this tiny little shit speck. It's not the size that counts. Both you and I know no one actually believes that. to find the lock breaker. Splendid work. Keep it up. Closing the contract. <laughs>
Bird offs herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. I was... I was only gone an hour. You, you checked your pulse? V She's gone. How did this happen? I don't know. I told you. Evie was lying in bed like always when I went out and I got back to fuck if I'd just known I'd have don't blame yourself won't solve anything I should have sensed something that it was off stop couldn't watch her 24-7 she'd made up her mind would have found a way always Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of the dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you. If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't get... Give a fuck what you write me up for. They'll be here soon. Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? Welcome to Night City, where your address says more about you than anything else. We should have never come here. I'm gonna put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. <sighs> Bama Sig. Didn't know you smoked. <sighs> Quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Fine, here. That was her smoke case. Wanna hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kinda glad it's you that has it, actually. Fuck, Evie. 
Sophie. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. I don't know what to say. Never was any good at this stuff. Oh, you don't need to talk. I did more for her than anyone else. I had a motive to find her, Judy. You know that. It's what you bring that counts. You gave her the freedom to choose. Yeah, maybe. Just never imagined she'd choose this. Remember Fingers? How he said Evie was with him for four days? Uh-huh. Did say so. She disappeared from clouds a week before you turned up. Tom told me later. Couldn't sleep at night knowing that. Kept thinking, what the hell happened to those other three days? So... I did some more digging in her virtues. Found Woodman. He kept her. Had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. Wait, so you found other recordings? Had another look at the corrupted ones. You know, lots of static. Hard to pick up anything, really. At some point, I stumbled on something like an echo of the spat we'd had last time we saw each other. But I know she wasn't scrolling. Why was it saved as a virtue? Got no explanation for it. Maybe she recalled it later, relived it, almost. Implant could have been on when, you know, as a defense mechanism, escaping into the past so as not to live in the present. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. And I really wish I could unsee it. I zeroed Woodman. Didn't plan on it, just how the chips landed. Glad I did, though. Me too. I can't even imagine. Still, it's not enough. There are so many more like him. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry. But, uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow.
How is that even possible? It's a pleasure to host you again. Old wheels are. Would you mind if I interrupt it? your journey with a question? <laughs> you just did, but sure, ask away. It's an unusual request, so please forgive me. How would you advise someone who wishes to learn more about human nature to form closer bonds? Suppose you're asking for a friend. Uh, guess you just gotta hang around them, watch, listen, study them. Study? That is just the advice I required. A thousand thanks for your assistance. I wish you a pleasant journey. All our vowels. It's a damn shame dolphins can only survive in lab tanks. I'd sure love to see him take a crack at world. It's all settled then, right? You'll be back here at dark. Pleased to see you again. What's shaking, Night City? Hey, Dell, how's life? As you suggested, I've devoted considerable computing power towards my study. Hey. Hello. I'm just checking the suspension. The hydraulics have to be ship shape. We're in for a bumpy ride. Are you ready to go? Born that way. And you? Sleep well? Like a baby on a bumpy road. Come up with anything? For Hellman, I mean. As a matter of fact, I did. Look here. Okay. Tell me. We're the wrench. The cutter is the AV. And the screwdriver is where the AV should bury its nose cone in the dust. Now, you must be wondering how we get the AV to do that. That old HMG of yours? My gun will be useful elsewhere. This caliber would barely dent the armor of a heavy hitter like that. There are other ways. Here, the clamps are solution. A satwave power station. Why down the AV there, at that exact spot? Because once it's on the ground, we'll have to locate it and grab your target. As fast as we can. And the terrain there is typical California desert. Flat, dry, and empty. There'll be a big old sitting duck. Power station. Wait, you want to use an EMP? Bullseye. But how? We can't generate that sort of pulse on command. Would you like to bet me? We drive up to the power collection unit, break in and override the controls, lift any limiters. As soon as the AV is in range, we set off the electromagnetic turbo pulse. This should smoke the AV system. The drive, nav systems, communications, everything, out like a light. They won't stand a chance in hell. Remember, need Hellman alive, unharmed. Gotta train that to blow the AV to bits, okay? I know. 
But I'd say your man had best be buckled in. This idea, if it works, you'll be in for a rough landing. All right, let's ride. Great, hop in. It's cold out here. Who owns this power station? Gov or Corp? Is there any difference? Who do you think pulls the government's strings? I'm just wondering whose toes we're about to step all over. V, look around. It is simple. Everything you see is owned by a corporation. You like to mess with the corps, huh? Whatever gave you that idea. Or wait. Scratch that. Rogue, Nash, the Raffins. You're on thin ice, V. You just like to mess with everyone. Well, then I suppose it's a good thing I'm on your side, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And now for something completely different. Weirdest thing you've ever transported. Go. Cause me, I had to carry a real Ganic Iguana once. Seriously? A live one? Yep. Someone put him in a deep sleep, packed him in a cooler. No idea why, but man, I made a shitload off that job. Your turn. Think you can beat that? The Deputy Finance Director of Calcas. Whoa. I'd say it's a tie. Dead. In the trunk. Okay, fine, you win. We've almost reached the dam. We'll make a quick stop here. We need to calibrate you with a turret. I want you to be able to use the gun, too. It should up our chances in general. Connect here. Do we really have to waste our time on this? We do. Unless you've already used one of these without help, while moving, while taking fire from all directions, and still managed to hit something. But somehow, I don't believe that's the case. So don't argue. Just connect. How should I connect? Personal link? How else? Just watch the jack. Sometimes you have to jig a little bit. Wired in. Wait a moment. Diagnostics first. Shit, it keeps giving me an error. Odd. Let me work around it. And now, Pan Am, here's Johnny. Out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Great work, V. Hey, uh, I think your implant has a virus. The one in the nape of your neck. Uh, I've got a bioprocessor in my head that operates independently of me. Probably why your diagnostics flagged it. Mm-hmm. Okay. No data will leak out of it through the personal link. You're right, Secure. Fine. I trust you won't fuck anything up. Okay. Here goes nothing. See that pile of junk? Fire a short burst into it. I'll take care of the calibration. Good. Next target. Single shot. Okay. Just one more. Longer round. Hey, if you'd rather daydream, please wait until we're done calibrating. Great. We're done, I think. And that wasn't so bad, was it? Calibration's fine, but your soft could really use an update. Scanner, controllers, all a couple generations back at least. There's better tech in the bargain bin at a Kabuki flea market. I can help you with that, you know? Yes, sure. The most important thing is that it works now. So where's this power station? You will see in a moment. I know a spot. We'll have a decent view from there. I just want to be sure the area is clear. Sabotage a Corpo power station. Jump a Corpo transport. Kidnap a Corpo suit. Is this a plug for the word Corpo, or do you have a point? Know what? You're starting to remind me of me. Fifty years back. Minus the charisma. An impressive cock. Hmm. Maybe we can just get along. Could be something to that, I suppose. What happened to us, it must have had some effect. You're more like me than you think. 
You'll see. But it goes both ways. Maybe you're becoming more like me. Nah, no way. All looks clear. The area looks deserted. I see no patrols. The huge thing is the collection unit. And see the antennas? Each antenna collects microwave energy from satellites in orbit. That's then converted into electric power. Antennas run a ways down the interstate. We set off a chain reaction that starts in the collection unit. Then each antenna will emit a massive EMP burst, while our AV flies right into our net. We just have to send out the pulse at the right moment. Let's go get her. When we arrive at the station, you overload the systems. I'll set up a bypass link for the detonator. Why don't I start with the transformers? Make mayhem in the relative voltages. Rest should move faster after that. Not a bad idea. That's just... Yeah, yeah, I know. The converters. But they shouldn't be a problem. I'll just crank everything up past max. Seems we think alike. So what now? We wait. We should time our arrival to the AV flight plan. Got it. Good. Time to roll. Done anything like this before? Downing an AV? By myself? No. Why do you ask? Thought you would have done something like this with your plan. No. We did take back one of ours from a convoy once. But this... What we're doing now, the risk is so much greater. You don't miss it? What, jobs like this? Being in a clan, being part of a family. I could ask you the same. How do you feel, all on your own? Yeah, sometimes wonder what life would be like, back with the clan. And? And the price is always too damn high. Hmm. I believe I understand. Okay, we'll be there in a moment. One last time. We drive in, fuck up the system, and get the hell out of there. Hold on tight. This could get a little bumpy. Get ready. Okay. I'm ready. Drones! I'll deal with them. Deal quick before they hit us! You wanted tree. 11. You got 11. Fuck yeah. Let's get out of here before it lights us up, too. V, get the fuck out before something happens to the chip. Thanks for the tip. 
You know, I was just about to set up a picnic. Maybe lay out, work on my I base mean it. town. Watch out. The next one might. Johnny? Johnny! Fucking hell. Okay. I'm fine. It's... It's okay, just... It's okay, I'm fine. Yeah. Just... Delta the fuck out. Not the cleanest job, perhaps, but it still went well. What about the detonator? Is it working? Yes, it's working. And I don't even see a drop in the signal strength. We just need to drive far away enough to keep the pulse from blasting us, too. The cliff there. We'll set up. It should give us a good view of the antennas. And then we wait. Okay. Here. Always wanted to push the big red button on something like this. How do we know when? Don't worry. I'll have eyes on it. You just wait for my signal. Then set off that pulse. They won't know what hit them. And by the way... What? We are about to knock a multi-million euro dollar Kang Tao asset clean out of the sky. How does that make you feel? Blasting shit. Exactly what the doc ordered. And that's exactly what I like to hear. Just noticed. What? It's quiet. The hum of the city, people's voices, the smells. It's all gone. Wind just intensifies it. I think I forgot quiet exists. Mm-hmm. Though maybe not the smells. I mean, the coyotes. Rather hard to miss. Thought that was just the air freshener in your Thornton. Ha ha. Screw you. You'd do better to focus on the AV. Keep your eyes open. It's there, coming from Pacifica. All right, get ready. One more second. One more. Now! Boom. There she is. Shit! What's, What's happening? Fan-fucking-tastic. Fan-fucking-tastic. Bullseye! Pan Am, the engines are still running. Fuck, they're getting away! They're going nowhere. We gotta go after it! Give me a moment. Pan Am, what are you doing? That's how you do it! It's losing altitude! We got the bastard. Let's go! We got it! No way it stays in the air after a blast like that! Either land or crash. You catch that? Over. AV. Unmarked. Losing out. Fetch! There. Scorpion! What the hell are Finishing they doing? Finishing up at the generators. Follow them. On my way in a bit. Battery Mitch, should sort Scorpion, itself out. It's Pan Am! Don't go near that AV! I repeat, do not approach the AV! Mm -hmm. On the way, or I'll start the party without you. It's Kang Tao! Wait for me! Or better, get the hell out! They probably want to help the survivors. Without knowing it's corporate. They can't hear me! The pulse is interfering! Drones? Yes. Get ready. They're trying to slow us down. We won't let them. We have to reach Mission Scorp. It's nothing. I'm fine. Okay. Where 
the time being, at least. Time being, Zoe. Think you can manage? Sure. I'll live. Don't worry. Hey man, where are you? Hello? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Scorpion. Keep broadcasting over an open channel, just in case they missed you the first time. God, I swear. Something's not right. Did you hear those shots? V, something happened to them. Let's check it out. I see the wreck, but no Scorpion or Mitch. Looks expired. Fuck it. <clears throat> v, connect to the drone. We'll scan the area. We have to get our bearings. They won't mark us? I'll enable the masking. Their scanners are out. They're blind. Let's roll. You connecting to visual? Mm-hmm. V, if they got the Alta Caldas, if they got Mitch and Scorpion, I can't... I don't... I know, I know. Connected. I'm in control. Combat drones. Defense systems active. They secured the area. They're waiting for reinforcements. Shit. V, this does not look good. Rats. They've set up the launcher. They'll tear us to shreds if we get too close. Can't we take it down somehow? Mitch! He's alive! They have them! Maybe. But we have to get there first. If not for those damned glitches, I could have warned them! This is all my doing! Why in the hell were they following the AV? The fools! Listen, we saw Mitch. They probably got Scorpion too. We'll find them, help them out. If they're still alive. They're alive. Everything's gonna be okay. Mind that launcher. It will blow us to bits if we approach. You're already blown to bits. Don't be an idiot. This is just a scratch. Let's take out the launcher. I will try no. to- No! You stay in the car. Sorry, but you're just gonna slow me down. Fucking hell, V. Those are my people out Listen, there. I get that launcher out of our way, I'll let you know. Then you go in and help me with the rest. Deal? Yes, ma'am. I still have Mitch's rifle. I will try to cover you from here. Good idea. Let's move.
You've done best with the room. That's clear. I'm coming for you. Open the door. I'll cover you. Now! Step back! Back! Toss your weapons, or I'll shoot! I repeat, drop your weapons, Easy now! now. Not too late for everyone to walk out of this alive. We called for backup! Bullshit! Last chance. You don't gotta die today. Let's talk. Why should I believe you? Pan Am, shoot Shut him. Up. Listen, this isn't about you. Let him go and tell me where your I, passenger is. I, I don't know where they took him. Hell no! He's lying! You don't know or you don't want to say. Let me get the comms back up. I'll buzz the unit. We'll talk. Pan Am! But only if you remember the Shut cowboy, the fuck don't you? Fuck! Oh shit! Are you all right? Uh, just some scratches. You fucking morons! Did you get hit? Hang on, girl. I'll patch it's you up. It's nothing. Let's go. We couldn't retreat, Pan Am. They regrouped so fast. Started shooting rockets and shit. I lost everyone. Everyone? Scorpion, is he here? Mitch? Mitch? 
be safe, Bray. Right? I am. I'm sorry. I didn't make it in time. No. No. Are you sure? No, he... Scorpion, the rest, I... I'm sorry we didn't get here sooner. They were good people. Great people. They didn't have to die here. I should have stopped him. I tried. He wouldn't have listened to you either. Never was much of a listener. Stubborn bastard. I'm guessing since you were out here, you were out here for the AV. The question is why. Everything okay? You need anything? Thanks for saving my ass, V. Sorry about your people, but I need to keep moving. Why dive straight for the AV? Didn't notice the markings? We saw it was damaged. We know this land. We knew where it would fall. We had no idea it was Kang Tao. I figured they might need help. In the worst case, there'd be good salvage to be had. Could've been more wrong. I need the guy who was riding this AV. You know anything? See anything? Took them with them. In our cars. Where? West. Small unit. Your passenger's entourage. Must be looking for a way to call base. So you're the ones who hit him with that EMP? Yeah, we tried to warn you, but we couldn't connect. If they took your cars, we might be able to follow their tracks. Penham, listen. I know it's not the best time, but I need Hellman. You promised to help. That still hold? I always keep my word. Mitch, I will find those sons of bitches. I swear. Go. I'll call the crew. Get all this cleaned up. We'll leave my ride here just in case. Just watch the gun it likes to jam. We'll go by bike. Sounds good. Kang Tao lost contact with their AV. Probably looking for it. Better hurry. But Pen Am. What? You're coming back for her, right? I promise. Let's get going before they send a rescue party. Let's ride. Hope they didn't go far. We'll see. The tire tracks start there. We'll follow them. Our guys were here. Let's follow. Find them. The rest must have taken home with us. If they manage to regroup and call for help, we're out of luck. 
Better hurry then. That's one of our... one of their... Let's check it. Don't know if we'll find anything else here. Enough. There's nobody here. Better check where Kang Tao took him. Left a few peeps behind at the airstrip. Rest went with Hellman. They're coming for him. Don't worry. You know what? What? This is my life right here. I step out of one pile of shit, only to trip into another bigger one. Pan Am. Pull in everyone else after me. But don't. These tracks lead up past the hill to an old filling station. I wager that's where they're holding hell. Drones, patrols, definitely set up shop here. I see. They must have Hellman locked up somewhere. But V, see that? The pumps look pretty good. Not what you would find if the place were closed. The bastards might have managed to call for transport. We'll know soon enough. <laughs>
see cars. Nomad. Mm-hmm. I recognize them. The clans. Sent you. Hey, easy. We gotta talk. Who are you working for? You're in Obu Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back? Or? Pathetic rat's got nowhere left to scurry off to. He's out of lifelines. Shut him up already. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Don't take this personally. I seem to recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got Helmet. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Just remember, you have Helmet, and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just biz. He's no friend of yours. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive. What did he say? Alive. Alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya. Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True. Looks like your new Chimbas are here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. Stay right there. The 
cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few Elder Kellens. <clears throat> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. What do you plan to do with him? Just gotta ask him a few important questions. I sure hope you get some important answers. Saul. Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. Saul, I tried to raise Scorpion, but he... Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul, it really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing, my fault that AV got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're in Aldo Caldo, you were always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still in Aldo Caldo. Damn it all! Hey, don't worry about Saul. He'll get over it. I don't give a damn. But he gives a damn about you, Pan Am. As soon as he heard what had happened, he ordered us to follow you. He was worried something would happen Saul? to you. Saul? That was his? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but your family and Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. <laughs> I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you. You look out for yourself, all right? So... What now? Back to Night City? Yeah. I mean, I think so. I have to sit and think. About everything. Saul, Mitch. They really treat you like family. Maybe you should give them a chance. It is not that simple. Like any family. They're coming. You have about a minute to get out of there. Let's move! I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours. What is this place? Motel. Middle of nowhere. Any specific middle? Doesn't matter. You're not leaving here by yourself anyway. Why are we here? Want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arasaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arasaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. You misunderstand me. There is no offer. What do you want? Your tech's trying to kill me. Pretty sure that's not how it's advertised. If you wish to file a complaint, I'll need more details. Got Johnny Silverhand's construct stuck in my head. And I don't want it Silverhand. there. Silverhand? Construct? That's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Clept it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client, but the client left me out And you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arisaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. 
You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. I know you can't just yank it out. My Ripper you said- You showed that to some fucking street doctor? Who else knows? I needed help. Or did you think the first thing that came to mind was downing a Kang Tao AV? How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware? Aggressive. The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved engrams. It was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. How exactly was this new version supposed to work? Were you planning to have the engram kick people out of their own bodies? Is that shit by design? During the tests, we assumed that the body would be... neurally indifferent during implantation. You mean dead? Yes. Which makes what happened to you interesting indeed. How do you put a price on immortality? Who could even afford tech like this? Nobody. This model was meant to remain in-house. The prototype was Saburo Arisaka's personal commission. He oversaw the entire project himself. So if it weren't for you, Arinobu, nobody would have found out. And if not for you, the project would not have been a success. This is a true breakthrough. Yeah, yeah, great. Your tech works. Now get it out of me. Well, well. I would have to see it first. Whoa, we just met. Haven't built up that sort of trust yet. How did you think this was going to go? If you want me to help you, I must examine you. Okay. Hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this suit's the one who's gonna help us. What? What is it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing... I could Woo -hoo, do, it's bargaining time. Is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. Wait, you said the project was in the trial phase. You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against it. So no matter what, sooner or later the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me, what's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You are both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Sheesh, give it a rest. When it comes to my decisions, Johnny really is just a voice in my head. Maybe he has a different opinion, but he can't make me do anything. Agreed 100%. You are one fucking stubborn It's not host. as if one of you wins the debate. The scale simply shifts. Slowly but surely. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomb. Oh, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation. At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking now? Oh, let me guess. 
He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little no. while. No. Would you, though? Could be fun. Johnny... Kidding. But watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head off. You know what? That's enough. You just playing for time? Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Ah, oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. I'll try. Just isn't gonna cut it. Actually, it's almost like you're trying to buy your way in with the Chinese at my expense. Do you even realize how much data is in your head? Even if I can't help you, the data must be saved. Well, fuck me sideways. What Forget Kang Tao. Go Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to. Gonk's fucking useless without him. The... Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice. He might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. than nothing, long as we find someone fluent in Technobabble. What'll you do with him? I haven't decided yet. Are you serious? You know me. I can be impulsive. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. Interest. V, I will remember this. Ah, this heat. My throat is positively parched. Hmm. B did not give you even a glass of water. Unacceptable. <laughs> you, man. That is not See me. that? Fuck you me. Just you look man. at that. I will give you full buckets. No, uh, no need. <clears throat> Sons of bitches. You really are paranoid. You don't see it? Way corpse are stripping our world and lives naked, piece by piece? Can't turn a blind eye to that. This is the part where you divulge your master plan to annihilate our Asaka? No. It's the part where I say I despise petty merc thieves who think they're hot shit rebels after setting foot in the afterlife. Might think you took on Arasaka, but you're just a bug they scraped off the sole of their boot and tossed in the trash. Says the most inept terrorist in human history. Need I remind you how you let Arasaka crush your soul and put you here? A nomad could never understand what it means to fight for the city, die for it. You sure seem to know a lot about my past. Well... Seen flashes of your past, just like you've seen flashes of mine. Don't think I care. What does interest me is why you're a clingy creep. I think we can work together, V. But your plans make no sense. Destroy Arasaka? I don't even know what that means. All in good time. As I see it, you don't know what you really want. So you concocted a boogeyman to fight. Arasaka. Huh. You're funny. Got a new life, you did. But you got exactly no idea what to do with it. Honestly? Don't differ a bit from those poor bastards handcuffed to the feeders in their mega block pads. 
Okay. I'll tell you why I want to destroy Arasaka, but I'll only tell you once. Want to hear it? All right. I saw a corpse strip farmers of water, and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and emptied pockets. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. Might be right. Can't really argue with you there. V, I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? Do whatever it takes to stop them, defeat them, gut them. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. Fucking hell. You still don't see it, but you will one day. Once again to Delamay. Hey, hey. V, as promised, I'd like to share the results of my research. Are you still interested? Indeed, indeed. I'm still analyzing texts from two millennia ago, so I cannot yet offer any final conclusions. Though I have observed a certain timelessness in what I have seen. Achilles, Odysseus, the heroes of Plutarch's lives, they possessed characteristics I've witnessed among my own passengers. Maybe human nature hasn't changed all that much after all. It's too early to pose such a hypothesis. However, note how the behavior of local gangs is similar to that of soldiers who fought during the Trojan War. Either you sacrifice youth and life in pursuit of greatness, or you emerge from a torpor in search of identity and meaning. Several of my clients experience similar vicissitudes and are, by no means, a work of fiction. Damn really sank your teeth into this research. When in Greece, do as Grecians do, if you'll pardon my take on the expression. Of course, I'm obliged to inform you we are not in Greece. We remain on the desired course. Please, have a pleasant day.
Hello, we haven't met. I'm Elizabeth. My husband and I, we need a somewhat delicate matter handled. We think you could help. Mind my asking who your husband is? Actually, who are you? I'd rather not discuss details over the phone. Please, meet with us. We'll explain everything. As I said, it's a rather delicate matter. Why call me, of all people? Any particular reason? You came recommended. Yahoo, bye. I'd rather not say. Not over the phone. Is there any way we could meet? Discuss some details? Sure. Let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you. Sergey? Nice of you to ask. 
Lately, I feel like there is a neon sign over my head that says, Sergei who fuck with Tigger Claws. I have little present for Tigger Claws sitting in garage. Don't seem so nervous for a man in your situation. Ah, but you see, I'm in home stretch now. One base away from freedom. How are you so sure that the Tiger Claws will accept your present? Uh, trust me, I know. We Russians have very refined intuition about such things. And you are just delivery girl. How'd you piss off the Tiger Claws? Ah, uh, it was just a friendly misunderstanding. Hmm, sure. This man, he look normal, beard, brown shoes, nothing, you know, breathtaking. And they also have little dog, Gospody. What kind of hitman goes around with dog? This misunderstanding involve you shooting him? It was worse. Much worse. Ah, I say too much already. All right, then fling me the coordinates. Just a moment. I open door to garage. It opened from inside, too, just in case. Presence the car. It's a bit more than ordinary car, but in nutshell, yes. Just drive it there and they take care of the rest. And don't mess this up, huh? I count on you. before he returns. Unusual, as far as presents go. What? What did you say? You're supposed to be my present. A surprise from a certain Sergei. You're not making any sense! You know, like a pop-out cake. Except there's no cake. Just lots of blood. And you are? Alex Pushkin, Senior Assistant in Quality Assurance at Biotechnica. What's a Corpo QA doing messing with the Tiger Claws? You work for Tiger Claws? I, I, I told them I, I would not accept their offer. It's complicated. Hop out before I change my mind. I, I do not know what is going on, but thank you. You will not regret this. You got this job from Okako, yes? I will pay her. She won't lose an 80, and neither will you. You would be the last person to get bought by a corpo stuffed in a trunk. Oh, so I thought. You never fail to surprise me. Though I do suppose he who offers most shall get his way. Oh. I do not mean Sergei, no. Sadly, he was outbid by another interested party. Who knows what will become of him now? Quid pro quo me. Quid pro quo. Contract closed.
You new here? Seem to remember this ugly, slimy gonk type with oozing flesh running the shop. My uncle is not a handsome man, I know. But he is hard to forget once you see him. Preem, yeah. Nothing like serving up a howler first time you meet someone. Talk to him. You think it's a mistake to speak the truth? True or not, it was rude, hurtful. What else would you call it if not a mistake? Ah, and that is why I love to travel. Words. We think we know how to use them, but then there is context. So, just starting out in this biz? No. I move around in this biz. I run shops in Irkutsk, Leningrad, Vienna, and Glasgow. I thought it was time to try a night city. My uncle rented me the shop because it was my birthday. I'm 30. I will sit here and run the business until I get bored. So, our city of dreams. What do you make of it? It's wonderful. Compared to the USSR, so different. Like it that much? Really? Yes, terribly. You shoot at each other in the street. You must pay for first aid, emergency help. It's a nightmare, but so interesting. Been thinking about getting some new chrome. Then I think you'll come to the right place. to die in Night City. Husbands cheat on wives. Wives cheat on husbands. Then they divorce and talk behind each other's backs. You Can sure? you believe that? Truly, I am shocked. But do not despair, V. Today, I give you the chance to help one such divorcee. His name is Mr. Gutierrez, and he is counting on us, V. Of course, his marriage is beyond saving. But perhaps we can retrieve the checks his wife took from him. I am attaching more details.
Kill! Mr. Gutierrez insisted on discretion. 
Instead, you make noise. First, his wife betrays him. Now you. It seems our client has no luck with women. I am closing the contract. Mr. Stern, all night, every night, don't solve a great man. Claire, you coming? I'm already here. Great. Be there in a flash, promise. Right on. See you soon. Wait, hold up. Which trigger we using? Mine. No argument there. Be right over. Later. Yeah, done it before. Yep, cost hey, I bet a bundle on our win. Losing's just yeah. not an option, eh? Hey, look, Samson. Fresh meat. Hmm. <laughs> Be embarrassing to lose to a rookie. Chill. Gonk will probably crash out on the first bend. Hey, V. Good to see you. So how's it look here? Give me my take once we cross the finish line. Provided we arrive in one piece. Hey, focus on winning. Yeah, I'll go heavy on the throttle. NC badges are okay with this? NC badges can't see a problem around the stack of Eddie's put in front of them. Solve every problem, don't they, Eddie's? Mm-hmm. No consequences for corpses in these races? Cops don't care who dies. They just funnel the data through their accident reports. Bullet to the brain counts as a traffic fatality? Depends on the street. Any tips before we roll? Don't take your foot off the chew. My job will be to slow everyone else down. Ultimately, it'll be speed, not firepower, that'll win us this race. Go fast. Got it. Oh, take the shard. What's this for? It'll show you the route. You'd be driving blind without it. We need to hit all the checkpoints or we'll be disqualified. If you want to hang a bit, do. I'll be in the rig. When do we start? The shard. It's all on there. Last bit! Last bit! Don't miss your chance to win! First to 
coming up. Everyone ready? Not like it matters. Too late to back out anyway. Strap in, pray to your gods, and get ready to go for pay dirt. Three, two, one. Good luck with that! sound surprised first fucking place it's not that i'm surprised it's just i know first place i heard you let's hold up at the finish line a minute just in case you got it do these races every year my fourth time this First time out, I won. It gets you hooked. I can't give it up now. Can't or won't? What's the difference? You do this for the eddies, the winds, the glory. Why do you race? It's like you've got laser focus. You don't like winning? Meh. It's the road that matters. Not the destination. So do me a favor and keep us on that road. And out front. You'll have your journey. I'll have my victory. Okay. I was just asking. Need a lift to the shop? Nah, I'm good. 
Get there myself. Sure. Till next time. Till next time. Hello to you, too. Ah, where are my manners? Of course. Hello. It's a pleasure to have you again on the Delamain Network. So, what is love? Oh, afraid there's no good answer to that question. As I feared. Do you know what that means? Uh, can't say I do. It's an aberration of science. To solve it, I must extend beyond. Del, gotta say, don't really seem like yourself today. Yes, I... I apologize for my behavior. I believe it's best I say goodbye now. Her campaign slogan, I return. So, as I was saying... You never got yourself chipped? Kinda like having a dentist with no teeth, isn't it? I have good rep. You won't hear any complaint about me. <laughs> but why? Job would be a lot easier with some zoom-capable Kuroshi optics. I'm sure it would. Until the day this planet gets hit by a massive solar flare. I'm talking about a geomagnetic storm that wipes out all live circuit systems, uh, implants included. So why would I get Kuroshi if sooner or later I just go blind? You're so paranoid. Why are you chipping other people with Chrome? I like the job. Besides, nobody wants to hear the truth anyway. Mind taking a look at my Chrome? Sure. Make yourself comfortable.
it's a good thing you answered. I could probably use your help. Probably. Fine. I could really use your help. Can we meet? Deep breaths, Pano. Tell me what's going on. Do you remember Saul? The leader of the clan I left? Uh-huh. Had a fallen out or something? It doesn't matter right now. He... They nabbed him. This is just not suitable for a call, V. Just tell me when and where. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the Aldecaldos camp. I'll explain it all. The Aldecaldos? Thought you parted ways. Oh, look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here.
t'es connu, Michel. L'été de rien à nous, tu te songes la vie sous ce là. En vain, la main, on l'a fait dans le collet. L'été la caille. Like a pep noir. You are V. We have been waiting. Can you meet somewhere else? Not big on funerals. Do not be frightened, étrange. This funeral is not for you. You my contact? Someone finally gonna tell me about this job? I'm just a man in the middle. You will learn more. Soon. You screening me? See if I came alone? What kind of chrome I got? There's some kind of test? Most people we work with we knew as babies. We know their angels. You, we do not know. Who died? Got something to do with the job? You think we put together this funeral special for you? Hmm. Want to talk with Brigitte? She here somewhere? No. Shopping center by the intersection. Go to the butcher shop there. Ask for Placid. He will tell you the details. Sorti tant qu'on l'a toujours fait. Il n'a pas fait aucun sens pour ces licognards. Just done. Can you actually sell meat out of here? Seriously? Ou actuellement le acheter kek? Qui ça l'a fait là? La PC est bien intelligent, il semble. Looking for Placide. Placide. Garde ici là. Do do ti pi. C'est au même, continuez. Placide, regardez là. Si ou pas dodo, crabe la va manger. Si ou pas dodo, crabe la va manger. You placide? Placide. Mm-hmm. I want to talk to Brigitte. But they send you to me. And you'll tell me more about the job. Yes, but not here. Follow me. This way. Welcome to Pacifica. You know Pacifica well. No. You guys aren't exactly great at rolling out the welcome mat for outsiders. Was to be its own city where suits were burned their eddies. A close circle. The cops feed the sheep, they spit the cash back out. All the toys here are grown from poor cash. Our interest is now in the GIM, the Grand Imperial Mall. Pacifica's biggest, ugliest temple to greed. But never finished. Until last week, it was deserted. Empty. But now? The animals crawled in, made a nest. Mm -hmm. 
Animal before? Yeah, a few times. You want the animals out of the gym? Extinct? That why you hired me? You learn everything soon. I mean, it makes no sense them being here. Middle of Pacifica, no backup, cut off. It's your turf. Hell, even badges don't patrol around here. Uh huh. They're trying to provoke you? Make you do something stupid? They do not leave Jiaim. How many are we talking about in there? Daddy, maybe more. Vinina, we talk here. You sit. When do I see Brigitte? You do job. That is first. What the hell? Could fucking tell me what you plan to do first. You take job. You do what I say. So you chuck in. Now. Or what? You got a line of volunteers waiting? V? Home stretch. Almost there. Do not fuck this up. Damn it. Here goes nothing. Well, at least he's not likely to talk your ears bloody. Got a feeling we're not going to become best friends. No chemistry. I will survive. Evelyn Parker. Ring a bell? Not one of us. She did work for you once. Why not send your own goons to the gym? It's not our way. How's that been working out for you? Work good. Good more than bad. Your calm shaman, it is Victor. You two know each other? No, no need. This hardware is shit, you should replace. Oh, so now you're a ripper doc too? That at all relevant? Or just a cheap scare tactic? I need you to be able. I need no. This cheap. It have no signature. What is it? Besides that, everything's okay? Neural net problem, cortex spikes, other trash. Any of that a deal breaker? I ask you about the chip. Uh, unimportant. Busted anyway. Hmm. How? Got a bullet to the brain. Hasn't worked since, that's how. Hmm. Huh. I haven't asked about my experience, what I can do. We are not cop. Do not offer career. You do for us only one simple thing. Once inside, what do I do? The camionet. Twenty, thirty-five, zero seven. Three seconds before, poof. We try to learn where the camionet come from. Van's definitely a custom job. I see you not know also. Hey, just turn a piece backs together. You record all this on your own? Mm-hmm. Local cam signals, cop sats, we capture to all. But from inside the gym, squad, right? Tech looks pretty advanced. Doesn't scream meathead to me. They watch it very close. It is important, whatever it Placid. is. Batman Kelly have this and i Femme Butler.
Time for a break? I think you might be needed. They will manage fine. You focus. Animals aren't the play here, are they? They're hired muscle. Someone else needed them. Someone with a van full of Netrunner tech. And that's where I come in? To sniff out who? Mm hmm Start with the communet. Hide from all eyes. Only see the city as you. You have now seen with Rizzo Agwe, our subnet. Why, we're four? You are, you are my vessel now. now. To, to Agwe, I see what, what you see. see. Hear, hear what, what you hear. I will, I will guide you to G.I.M. Another voice in your head. Just what the Ripper Doc ordered. We know who the runner inside is. What he wants. This I hope you tell me. So, aim to keep an eye on me. Shows trust. All right. Anything else I should know? Find our people near Mall. They will show you how to get inside the beast. My pay. How much we talking, and how am I gonna collect? And say you not in this for cash. You in this for problem. Do G.I.M. for us. Brigitte can solve it. Uh-huh. Except then I found out you need me to be a bullet trap on enemy turf. That means my fee's just gone up. Mm, we will see. No promise. Got it. So I do this and you put me in front of Brigitte, right? Yes. Suti at the end of the hall. Go down. My people will let you pass. We are done. None too fond of strangers here, are you? People like you. Stick out. Meaning, best watch it. Mm-hmm. Wise. Brigitte even know we're supposed to meet? Or did you cook this deal up all by yourself? You speak with Chef in when time is right. So, voodoo boys. Why? Don't seem to believe in voodoo. Don't know. Ask those who call us this. Mean to say you call yourselves something else? And you ain't gonna tell me, are ya? All ears. What? I check stability. The link on your end clear? Mm-hmm. Seems so.
Kill me. Okay. They know you're watching them? This is our turf, our home. We need not to be ghosts here. It is you. Must be ghosts. Be silent. Invisible. Know the way in? Was told you would. Yeah. Garage in the back. But shh. Quietly, yeah? Anything interesting happen over there? Since we are here, all quiet. No one in, no one out? Well, they went out for supplies once. Bye. 
you must finish them one at a time. Okay, I'm in. I see. The camion in. Check it. Right. He knows I'm here. Damn. They put him to sleep.
silent. remains active for up to several minutes after decapitation.
No chatter. Now, interface with the van. Well, I got you here. Mind telling me what we're looking at? Get a flow map of Pacifica. They hunt Agwe. Who is they? Netwatch. They always out to fuck us. What are they looking for exactly? Internal data forts. If they crush our eyes, they take Agwe and the entire net. They return to the dark time of Port Moss. But you've probably got what? Web crawlers, code mirrors? We do. They also want them. How bad does it look? I do not know how much data they pull, but their map is not complete. They still not have source validation. Okay, so what's on me to do? You must reach the agent. Easy now to find him. Look at the map. He is in cinema. Step away now. This isn't your fight. Matt! What? Placide what? The god pushed out. The runner know you are here. Hunt him. Can't just scorch him via the net. He's gotta be jacked into the van. I cannot piece his protection. You must find him. Face him. Okay. So what do I do once I find him? I will tell you. The Asian man tries to cut you off. There is a gate. Behind the camionette. I will open it. Okay, now to the second floor, the cinema.
access to their data. Clear? You must first. Proceed. Whoa. Hey. Easy. What did you do? Well, now we can talk in private. Just severed the connection to the rest of Pacifica. Gives us a little time. Didn't come all this way to talk. Had a specter on you, didn't you? Saw and heard all you did, you followed his orders. No idea what the voodoo boys are paying you, but our pockets are deeper. You trying to buy me out? Not at all. Consider it a counteroffer. Don't gamble your life on the boys. They aren't exactly known for their professional integrity. They've been in Night City, what, 50 years? Yet still, they cling to a tribal mentality. Their distrust of outsiders, legendary. Not interested. Not a money job for me. Just need an in with my mom, Brigitte, voodoo chefin. Brigitte and her lapdog, T. Neptune, have been frozen several days now, ever since we shrouded their subnet with ice. And you? Well, you were sent here to free them. Do you know why they didn't tell you everything? Cause you're a Ranyan. That's what they call outsiders brought in for special jobs, floor rags. When you're no longer needed, they chuck you. A fate for all Ranyans. You have Brigitte? And how'd you manage that? When we took the mall, we knew the VDBs at Sem Runners. T. Neptune breached first, to see what was going on. When we iced him, Brigitte dove in after him, used him to shield herself. Tough cookie, that one, but still finds herself stuck. Got anything to back that claim? That the Voodoos want to set me up? Wanna? They did it already. Soon as you handed over your link, slipped in the Spectre and a virus. <laughs> Talking as if he was there. He's working you. So obvious it hurts. Asked for proof. Besides, I'd know. <laughs> that so? Then please take a look. Run a system diagnostic. Fine. And? Nothing out of place. No trace of- Do it again. Then cross-check the result against the first. Identical, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's not a real scan, it's a copy. What's your beef with the voodoos? Any idea how many attacks from behind the black wall we neutralized last year? Want me to guess? So you don't know. No one in Night City knows, outside of us. And no one wants to know. People imagine it as a great border wall, a one-time solution to protect humanity forever. Whereas, it's more like a torn open trash bag taped over a busted window. And the voodoo boys will not stop poking holes in the fucking thing. Brigitte and the other one, Neptune. What's their condition? Tags are active, so the VDBs must be keeping them alive from their side. But they can't sustain that forever. They cannot, which in turn makes Brigitte and T less useful to us. Tried using their interface to breach the Voodoo subnet, but Brigitte proved... stubborn. She managed to take some bites out of our systems before we secured her. Little taste of your own medicine? The data collection. Why would you target Pacifica's runners? That's the job. This is about Rezoagwe, isn't it? Can't have an indie net where you aren't welcome to protect and serve, huh? No such thing as an independent net. If the Voodoo Boys breach the Black Wall, we'll all be fucked one way or the other. All right. What are you offering? A compromise. I'll fish the Voodoo Virus out of your system. And I'll release both Brigitte and T. Neptune. They'll wake up like nothing ever happened. Not to worry. And all you gotta do is let us walk. With our data. Thoughts? 
Clock's flipping digits. Okay, do it. I knew we'd have a meeting of the minds. Can't believe you're falling for this shit. Forgot. Mercenary's leaving. She's joined the team, so be nice. Don't want any problems. Good luck. Got a feeling we'll be seeing each other. Fan of westerns, huh? Of course. They depict a simpler, better time. One thing hasn't changed, though. Good guys still carry badges. Ever seen Unforgiven with the Hackman guy? No. And they didn't have it here. Give it a shot sometime. A must watch. Brigitte and the other guy, are they back? Who told? Yes, Mama B is awake. Perfect, because I gotta talk to her. And what up, Netwatch? Taken care of. Look for my people at front. We are to take you to Placid. Let's go. GIM. You were to hack the agent, not cut deal with him. Every merc you hire, try to set him up? Kulev Sal, you believe that Vachis? What he say? You say, or I open you. See with my own eye what Wound Crawler does. I fucking dare you. I say, we must head under. I do not know what Netwatch plans, but they are not done. You are worried about agents? Then shoot her in the head. I do not know what they put in her, what corruption is in her system. You don't know what is in there to begin with, how much it is worth. I know. I stand here. Only a normal filthy ranyan. Ale, many moon yon You must be Brigitte. Hard woman to find. You have something for me. You know about the biochip, don't you? If it is functional, we offer you good price for it. That why you're talking to me now? Because you know I got the biochip? Not because I saved your frozen ass. If I was any ordinary Ranyon, you'd have dealt with me already. Placid saw in you common trash from the streets. This is why he chose you. But you knew about the chip. 
and still put yourself in danger in the gym. Mm-hmm. Just like you. Only I came out of there on my own. Biochip's not for sale. Plus, do you know good to take it by force? It's in shitty shape already. Haven't found a single soul capable of getting this thing out of me without scrambling my brain. You commissioned the heist, so I figured you must know something. You've gotta. How do you know all this? How did you find us? Evelyn Parker. Name ring a bell? Ah, the doll, the whore. You found us because she led you to us. She has proved not completely useless after all. Listen, can you help me or not? Yes, of course, but not here. We will go to the crib, where you must give us access to the jeep. Once we have the data we need, we will do our best to help you. Seriously, haven't done enough for you already. There is no other way. To remove it, we must first examine it. Because if you fuck up, you're left empty-handed? That it? I gave my word. We will help you. Then, after you. You guys sure seem to love this place. But, honestly, you don't give off a strong religious vibe. We left our gods on Aiti, yet we are strong here without them. This way. So how come Placide didn't know about the biochip? He didn't recognize it in the scans. Few of our people know about Compeki Tower. But Placide, he is. Your bet de ba. Where are we going? Soon you will see. <coughs> the Watcher did not notice the biochip in you. Strange. Did you let him scan you? Huh? No. Why? It would complicate our work. This an old subway tunnel? No. Part of the transcontinental maglev system. When all states were connected. Like the net, it too crumbled after the war. View a courant. Bon. We take you into the cyberspace. No better place for you to interact with the construct. Guess all this means you got your own synth tech interface. We have our own versions of all. We do not use anything from the city. How do I know I'll come back? Do I get some guarantee? You will be inside our data fortress. Under watch. Under your watch. If you knew what is out there in the cyberspace, you would not be so choosy. How's all this any different from plain old net running? The interface show you the data layers direct from the net. Readable, of course. What the basic runners see is only a map. They cannot see beneath the surface. Their tech, it is too weak. Okay, hang on. Wanna know what you need Silverhand for first? We wish to contact Alt Cunningham. We know she and Silverhand were close. Uh? The relic which Arasaka held close. It is our only lead. Alt Cunningham. Heard of her. Oh. Where? From who? From Johnny. Though, granted, not much. 
Johnny. All right, V. Guess you better tell her. Tell her what? About us. Construct's active. Let's me and Johnny shoot the shit every now and then. Mm-hmm. You would look at this, too. What, you think I'm hallucinating? Found myself an imaginary friend? Little is known of how an engram might exist within a human's neural network. Tell you one thing. It doesn't shake out well for the human. What's your plan to contact Alt? We try to cut out a unique piece of Silverhand's engram from the biochip. Alt will know it. If something of the human is left after years beyond the Black Wall, she will answer. Whoa, what? Said nothing about breaking through the Black Wall. Well, now you know. Direction yeah. connected. Connection stab. What exactly do you want from Alt? All of you. Alt, the only one, can give us safe passage past the Black Wall. When the change comes, we wish to be on the winning side. The change? When the Black Wall was built, everyone think the ice would be enough. Keep the wild AIs out, away. But technology advances, it cannot be stopped. And now, catastrophe come again. This is sure, and soon. The corporations, they do not see the danger. But we, we will be ready. Oh, come on. Not the tub. We must prepare you for the dive into cyberspace. You are not accustomed to the neural demand. Don't try and get out of this, V. Just do what she says. I'm not about to sizzle with you. The Black Wall. What is it, exactly? I mean, I know. You know only what the Netwatch tell you. The final bastion against the post-war AIs. The great victory of humanity over chaos. That would be your Saturday morning Netwatch propaganda. But the Black Wall is an AI itself. The boundary condition let no thing pass through, either way. If the AIs thought like people, they would call it a traitor. Johnny, looks like you're the bait. You okay with that? Yeah, whatever. Just do what she says. <sighs> Let's do this. <sighs> <laughs> okay. What now? Johnny. Barry, plongé. This is our BBS, Data Fortress. Bridge to the Deep Net. It's... it's all so alive. So real. Cyberspace moves, breathes at all times. The interface will adjust the ebb and flow of data to the capabilities of your brain. But you... you are an exceptional case. Seeing something more than I am? Yes, the cyberspace, it is always trop belle. So, what now? We can begin. All is ready. We enhance your link to Silverhand's neural network for a short time to grab the fragment. We must find the data on Alt. Alt alone. This should only take. Brigitte?
Lock hold. Out of line. Way out. Johnny! What next? Still Where are you gonna take it? Gonna drag a corporal Don't around worry. stage, make him kneel, douse him with gas, then light him up? It's not your pants. You're no solo oh. act. Over here. You kinda are, though. Only one to have a problem with me. Cause everyone else has had it up to here. They're done thinking they can get through to you. You're fucking whacked. You know exactly why I do it. No, nah. -uh. To piss Arasaka off enough so they'll give you a case of deep muscle lead poisoning? But I'm the only one with a vision. So unless you got a better one, like I said, go fuck yourself! Fuck. Is it the concert or Carrie? Hmm? Said you weren't coming tonight. Not if I can help it. Changed my mind, lover. Look at you, all hot and bothered. Goodness gracious me. Mm -hmm. A damn shame that's that. Always got to shit all over it, don't you? Any moment that might actually feel good. Your moment. What a hell not. You can be such a bastard sometimes, Johnny. Man, are you on my ass today? Not just today. How is it subtlety goes so far over your head? Weird for an artist. Things were swimming. What? Change your mind? Eats at my gut. Cause you knew what you were signing up for. Look, if you were just another charismatic, narcissistic douche canoe running around after his dream with his head up his ass, I couldn't care less. But? It's all a lie. That concert, samurai, all of it. A ginormous fiction. You're not a rocker boy, Johnny. Face it. Ought to join the wired wackos on the corners, frothing at the mouth as they scream death to Arasaka. <sighs> huh. I get it. Like to fix your men, huh? Not the first to try, believe me. Honestly, I've got better things to do. Just hoped I'd help you realize you're deluding yourself. And the doing anything about it, that's on you. Mm, you're afraid! You and Carrie both, cowards. I alone have the balls to stand up to Arasaka, and boy, that terrifies you. All of you. Of course, Johnny S. Misunderstood by all Night City. That's it. That's the problem. I think we're done for the day, so you can fuck off. See, I thought... Not another goddamn word, okay? Just shut up. For once. 
You're fucking hopeless. You don't know fuck all about me. This is all we have, all we are. Where are you going? Got somewhere to be. Silverhand! Hey! Come Good on, I'll noise, walk you home. Jim. Ran out of boosters, God. didn't you? Can't kill because there's words! So how long you think you're Please gonna be wait. mad? Down the rebel path! Last time. You just don't get it. Let's get out of here. Join us for a drop, Silver Rocker. Another time, Chumbas. What if there won't be another time? Huh? Johnny boy. No! Uh. Uh. Come on, rise and shine. Been a while, Johnny boy. How long did you say? Two weeks since I last cobbled you up? Man, did I miss you. Ugh. Bullshit, you gonk son of a bitch. Didn't even bother to call. You were supposed to be back for your follow-up. Kid's like a son to me. So I see him. How's it look down there? Well, shove so many tubes up your ass that you're about two mods off from pissing espresso and milk froth. I also tossed in a synthetic liver. Old one was looking worse than a paper bag full of shit. Great. Now I can live forever. Just as well. Where's Alt? Where's who? Woman who was with me. He brought you and you alone. Fuck, they grabbed her. Nobody saw it? Ask your savior. Said his name was Thompson. That you back there and what? We gotta talk. All right. It's spit and glue, but she's holding tight. Get some rest. Even a few hours, that the stitch is set at least. Uh-huh. Johnny. Yeah, fuck it. You won't listen anyway. How much you see? Not much more than you. They wanted her. You... you was just home. And you, just stood there, dick in hand, gawking and dreaming of tomorrow. Would have shredded us both if I jumped in. You see the guy's reflexes? Course not, he was that fast. 
Tech like that, you don't find in a dumpster. So, what are you after? Chasing down a story? Fresh for the screen sheets? That why you scraped me up off the pavement? Nah, had my story. But then some cats tossed her in the back of a van and sped off. You, uh, aim to do something about it? She was your output, wasn't she? Not your fucking business. Hmm, not sure, huh? Yeah. Heard there was tension, assorted goings-on. Honestly, could not care less about your fluttering hearts and loins. I want to know why Arasaka bagged her. Alt's kidnapping, it's collateral shit. They swiped her to get at me. You even know what she does for a living? Girl's one of the best runners around. So, one of how many? No, only linked to Arasaka's the fact that Johnny Silver and boning her. And she's been working for ITS lately. Wrote some real smooth black eyes for them. Not to be duped in either sense of the term. Arasaka wants her. Abduction was a standard intercorp extraction. Nothing more. Hang on. Alt was gonna meet you tonight. Mm-hmm. Said she could use my help. Wasn't kidding. Sokka tried this before, you know. Except Alt got lucky. Slipped through their mantis blades. Telling me she was afraid. And she went to you. Yeah. And frankly, I'm starting to see why. Okay, so what are they after? Soul Killer, an AI. Sound familiar at all? Of course. Urban legend with the shittiest name ever. It's no legend. Soul Killer's real. And your Chumbas at Arasaka just hired the runner who wrote it. Take that in. Sokka with Soul Killer to do with as it pleases. Grim, my man. You even imagine that, Rocker? Arasaka'll be unstoppable. Soul Killer will flatline any runner who comes close to even trying to scratch its eyes. Seen it happen. Not an iota of physical damage. Nervous system or anywhere else. No sound, no fury, no stench. Just all of a sudden, brain waves cut out. As if someone pulled the plug. Or ripped the soul from the body in question. Cool. Tell me the rest on the way. Do I hear extreme doubt? Oldest, tritest tale in the world. Arasaka was out to provoke me. And it worked. So what'll it be? Coming with? Where to? Arasaka Tower. To grab Alt right back. Just you and me? You out of your fucking mind? Swing by the Atlantis on the way. Got some tombs there. I'll be in the car. Can't wait too long, though. You'll wait as long as you need to. Where the hell's Rogue? Sit. Stay. on it guess it's your lucky day ah much appreciated want a drink the usual please you seen rogue she's upstairs 
But I heard you two weren't, uh... Well, you heard wrong. Fucking fuck. Johnny, give me a hand here. Heard you weren't talking to me. Dunno. Seem to be talking to you. How about now? Now you can go fuck yourself. Johnny? How's things, Engels? Got a private meet going on in there. Road back there, too? Yeah, just... Yeah, yeah, private meet, so you said. Promise to be super unobtrusive. God, I hate this fucking town. Johnny. Don't know you. That's no problem. Just as long as everyone else knows Johnny Silverhand. Lucky I found you. Wasn't sure if you hadn't left town. We're waiting for a client. One who values discretion. Mm-hmm. So much so, he himself didn't show. No point in sitting here, then. I got a job for you, too. Urgent, but pays right. How much? But out. This isn't your biz. He is now. Rocker just pulled out his wallet. Don't you get it? He's not here about any damn job. He's fucking with me. Last so time this he... time, you'll be smarter. Take your eddies up front. So, how much, Rocker? Pays double your standard rate. Triple it. And you come with us now. Because if she doesn't trust you, neither do I. Deal. That it is. Urgent indeed. Shit, Johnny. Didn't notice you had a fucking tail? Mr. Silverhand. You're coming with us. Sure. Let me just finish this. Aren't you, Mr. Popular? Hex down! Keep it together! I'm impressed! Seriously! Hilo? Is this real? Who'd you piss off this time, Johnny? You turn like me! Hex down, goddammit! Take cover! Yes, fucking own it! You're all uh, terrible! Uh, Ain't uh, Gotta admit, <laughs> did miss a miss. That went well. Let's get out of here. Ready or not, here they come. Uh, Make it quick! No mercy! Trouble in heaps. There'll be more at the bottom. Bet you thou. We're parked outside. You coming? 
Thompson's waiting for me in the car. Who? Media, you wouldn't know it. Pull out of Arasaka. Alt Cunningham, net runner from ITS. Oh. Yeah. The tower. What's the taking her there? This gets better by the minute. How you want to play this? Either of you gonks got a plan? Yep. Distract him. Make some noise. Set up right under Arasaka's windows and crank it loud. Blast the pains out. It'll be a gig to remember. yet has word on the exact number of people hurt in the riot. But our reporters are on the scene at Arasaka Tower, and they all agree. A psychoactive agent has been dispersed at the site, affecting those in the crowd. All right. You recording this whole thing? Uh-huh. Why? Want to say a few words to the folks at home? Do what you gotta do. Just stay out of my way. Thompson. Know him well? No, why does it matter? Don't like the guy? Don't trust him. And medias are bad luck. What? Bad luck. Say someone finds a tape later. A tape of us breaking into Arasaka Tower. Worry about that if we make it out. Come on, we no, don't have much time. Anything. We lost contact with him a few days ago. Man, we don't plan to. Gotta find the main. Cover you. Every last attack. Here they come. Ah. Ah. Sec. I'll get it open. Cover me. 
Let's finish this quick. Got four in view. Get ready. Headed this way. Got four headed Get our ready. way. Shoot! Shoot! Hey! Leave a little for me! Five seconds at war. Ready? Anyone else? Anyone? Ready no. or not, here they come! Help oh, that piece of me! Christ. This is it. Fucking door's armored so thick we could use a tank. Solutions, anyone? Let me try. Son of a bitch! Try this. Ah. Now I see why we brought him along. Three, two, one. Perfect. Best step back. I would advise you not to disturb her. What'd you do to Alt? I put her to work on a project of a lifetime. Get out of my way. Alt. Alt, come on, don't do this. Is she? Fuck! Johnny. The hell are you doing? Are you still rolling? This is all we can do now, my man. Show people the truth. <laughs> Won't change her. She's not. Johnny! Stop that! You have to kill him? <laughs> we gotta go. Johnny! She's dead. Well, spit it out before you burst. Thompson. What happened to him? Dunno. Never worked together again. Maybe, because you whooped his ass to make yourself feel better. Guy was a vulture. Out to use all from the start. When Arasaka flatlined her, man, for him that was sprinkles, with the cherry on top. Fuck, he would have killed her himself if they hadn't. Just for his cockrod story. Never even told me half that about Alt. Really? Any examples? I don't know. That you were a couple, that she rode Soul Killer, that she's dead. How the hell is she supposed to help us now, as a ghost? She's not dead. Managed to escape. I saw the body. 
Alt fled into the net. You're pushing bullshit. Heard more than my share of tales about runners who ran off to Never Never Netland. Just never thought you'd be the next to tell me one. Don't need you to believe me, long as you do exactly what I say. When'd you find out? When she made contact a little later. And? What did she say? That she was a captive in the Arasaka subnet. But they couldn't hurt her. And she told me not to come looking for her. What? Why? This one time, she wanted me to just let it go. Because enough people had died for nothing already. So, what did you do? Got my hands on two thermonuclear charges. Then headed back to Arasaka Tower. How do you know Alt's still around? It's been half a century. Which you've spent cloistered in Makoshi. Netwatch could have hunted her down years ago. Oh, they tried, believe me. But their tiny corporate brains can't handle a free AI that knows how people think. They were busy looking for her in the Crystal Palace while she was building the Ghost City for King Tao. And Rogue went with you. Again. I paid her well. Said it yourself, she was the best. Had her pick of contracts. But for some strange ass reason, she took a job from a rocker with a death wish. A rocker, forever getting his ass beat by Arasaka. Different times, kid. Back then, Marks didn't normally sell out to corpse. All you had to do was yell, let's fuck up Arasaka, and every last one of them chizzed their pants. Rogue included. Voodoo boys think they know where she is. Beyond the Black Wall. Where nobody can touch her. And Brigitte's primed to go there, break through, just to contact Alt, talk to her. ka -ching. Sure felt like more than a moment. Saw a good chunk of Johnny's life. And Alt. It is possible. Data connected to Alt are linked to a strong memory trace in the construct. Very strong. These memories must have evoked a powerful emotional response. Then projected onto your consciousness. Emotion, yeah. Plenty of that. Construct, what kind of shapes it in? Enough data is uncorrupted to convince Alt it is authentic. What the hell does that mean? So, did it work? Yes. We extract a necessary fragment of Silverhand's anger. We are ready now to make contact with Alt. First, we must dive deeper. yet returned. Get to the other side. 
Proceed. Yap attacking network lab. What the hell's going on? They breached our BBSs. We have nothing to do with this. Netwatch. <laughs> Netwatch cannot touch me here. It's really you. What happened out there? Couldn't just take him out? Netwatch was well prepared this time. Gotta be Mosley, the fucker. What of Brigitte and the Voodoo Boys? I was forced to purge them. Netwatch was exploiting their BBS. Purge? You mean they're dead, all of them? Not actually gonna feel bad for them, are you? Damn it. I brought Netwatch here. Agent I dealt with must have slipped me a tracker that let him right in. Switch things up on the sly, replacing the Voodoo's virus with his own brand of rod. Probably how they got to you. It matters not. The entire subnet was destroyed. Alt, you pulled us out of there. That mean you and us were okay? Everything's chill? I have recognized your engram code, but I do not know why you are here. So you can pay me back for getting you out of our Saka Tower. V, this is Alt. Best net runner Night City's ever seen. Alt, this is V. You need to save her life. As you can see, Johnny's got it all thought out. But there's the question of what you'll want in return. Netwatch propaganda has been effective. Do you see me as a demon who requires a pact signed in blood? Got no clue who you are now. Know a little about who you were. And Johnny, that he was important to you, while I'm no one. So I'm asking, what's it gonna cost? I cannot help you. Can't or won't? Can't. To attempt to do so, I would need access to more advanced technology. Interesting. Brigitte claimed she alone could help me. The Voodoo Boys deceived you. Why am I not surprised? Fine, so how about Mikoshi? That advanced enough for you? If I could gain access to Mikoshi, it would cease to exist. Good, we can work with that. We'll get you inside Mikoshi and you'll help V, deal? Best runner Night City's ever seen can't bust into Mikoshi on her own? I am a well-known threat there. They have a layer of black ice with my name on it. Literally. Kinda like a custom-made prison jumpsuit. I refuse to be caged in there ever again. What can you do for me, exactly? Everyone I've met so far says I'm too far gone. By everyone, you mean Hellman? Saburo's personal ass munch? With the Soul Killer resident inside Mikoshi, I will create a construct of you, then disentangle your neural network from Johnny's. I shall then inject your engram back into your mortal form. So, you'll save my life, but flatline me along the way. Your consciousness, neural engrams, will be recorded as data. The rest will cease to exist. The rest? The soul. I did not grant the program its name. But Soul Killer does precisely what it promises to do. Christ, I don't want to listen to this bullshit. V just hops back into her body, right? Nothing changes. Everything changes. You know this well. Great, so we got a plan. But how will you reach Mikoshi? I've created armies that failed to breach it. They were children of the net. There's your problem. We're banking on the human factor. 
We'll crack a window, slip you into Makoshi. Johnny embellishes, in case you hadn't noticed. You don't trust him, which is fine. But you have my word we'll slip you inside Makoshi while keeping you out of harm's way. I believe this human factor and I have things in common. So, we agreed? Yes, we are agreed. Find a path into Mikoshi. I shall prepare a program to help you navigate the local net. How will I contact you once I'm ready? This is a BBS address. It will be our secure communication channel. Alt, before you leave, we gotta talk. Just you and me. No, that will not be possible. Fitting end. Runner Fox had it coming. As much as it tickles me too, we got a Delta. Right, still got Mr. Crumps left. Ça va passer là. 
Ça nous fait à n'importe qui qualité en nous. I wait long time for this. That a pointed finger I hear in your voice? Fuck! That was your ticker. Sit and rest. Don't need your flatlining while we got a job to do. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck Arasaka, blah, blah. Smash Makoshi. You really are turning into me. <sighs> Might be right. 
We're bickering like a shriveled old married couple. It's time we let up. Let a little trust take hold. You can be a charming guy. Just make the effort. Charisma flows. Then I remember that nuke that you detonated downtown without a second thought. No hint of later remorse. It was Makoshi I was after. Wanted to destroy it. Gave Sokka ample time to clear the building. You knew countless people would die. Don't kid yourself. Take lives aplenty yourself. See scale as a problem? <clears throat> Whatever. Won't argue. All I'm saying is you're unpredictable. You pot me, Kettle. Remember where you used to be, then think what you've done lately. Path clear. See where you're going? <laughs> Got no idea where I'm going. Be a living legend. <laughs> That's all I wanted. Feels like I'm barely surviving. Test of a person's true value? Death. Facing it. Staring it down. You still got a chance to be somebody. Yeah. Maybe. What was it like? When you died? Was on top of the world. Failure not an option, not a thought. Till it happened. Death feels real now. It's only now I know it. Now? Had half a century to come to terms. Makoshi felt, I don't know, like sleep? Lacked awareness, had no sense of passing time. Didn't mark it. Did what they wanted to me. I just remember. Cold, a black void, fear. Or... Or was that your death? Makoshi... Why did Arasaka even build it? If I could only see inside Saburo's head. Ha uh ha. -huh. People can be bought, brainwashed. But it's only in Makoshi that you can peer inside a soul, pick it apart, reprogram it. They've amassed quite a collection. Scary talented runners, soul killed, packed away. Probably using them now, probably controlling them. So, wool in hearts and minds, that's what it's about. Uh, the usual. Corps have always tried to shackle people one way or another. Saburo's ambition is greater. He's out to control humanity. Well, I think I get why you detest the place. Shouldn't exist. Of all the destruction and pain corpse wreak around the world, what happens at Makoshi is worst. Know why? They strip you of your right to die. No different than being kept alive on a respirator. That ain't the worst bit. Worst things when they switch up your identity. And you never even know you've become someone else. Corps have already taken the world for their own. Now they're coming for us. Realize what you're doing to me is what... Arasaka's doing at Makoshi. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm gonna fix it. Let's move. Get back to work. Let's do.
how it is. I've had my ups and downs. This professional medical assistance you suggest can't help me. That bad, huh? I appreciate the advice, though. I'll do my best to hang on and take further action. Fenders and trunk eaten away by rust. Rest of the body's still holding up. It's warm. Engine was running just a short while ago. 
New coil, plugs. Mm, and somebody's clearly been tinkering with the camshaft. What's this now? Someone cleaned the cooling fan and filled up the brake fluid. Except... Huh, with water. <laughs> New but used. Salvaged from some other junker. All right, seen enough. Hey, what the... Hands off my car! This? What? No, no, it's my car! No, why would you leave it rusting in a yard? Not your biz. Not my biz? This last week, I've put in sweat, smarts, anything to get this heap running. Should have started with a step motor, would have been quicker. Says who? And why? Because it's iffy, starts sticking. We clear the carbon deposits, and it starts running like new again. Fuck! I replaced the entire throttle. Ah, see? It takes the owner to really know a set of wheels. Former owner? Car's mine now. As soon as I'm done doing the basic fixes, I am leaving this fucking city in a cloud of exhaust. Seem desperate. Why you want to leave? No way you'd understand if you have to ask. Come on, try me. Tell me. Tell you what, damn it! Look around you! Dirt, rot, shit, and scum. I don't want to live here. Not now. I'll buy this car. Pay you enough so you can get another. But it... it's a wreck. Mm-hmm. My damn wreck. Come on. Take the cash before I change my mind. Jeez. Thanks. Not sure what to say. So, give it a think while I take this baby for a ride. Like clockwork. Well, definitely no guy or girl magnet. But seems healthy under the hood. Don't know the half of it. Wait till I open her up. Not afraid you might. Ah, what can it hurt? I'm dead anyway. Floor it, V.
V, it's good you're here. Had no idea you and the Aldecaldos had made up. They continue to grind my gears something terrible. But, you know... They're family. Exactly. What happened? Spit it out! The Wraiths took Sol. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure it was Wraiths. We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Sol. I don't know why, but... I felt I could count on you. Belonged to a nomad family too once. City doesn't change us all that much, I guess. That's hard to deny. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grad. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Well, I'll be. Pan Am and V, what's going on there? Her? After what happened to Scorpion, she shows him here? I guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am. Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Their problem? Just that if we're looking outside, we must be a hot mess inside. That's why we'll go in quiet. A frontal assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up recon. V will sneak into the Wraith's camp while I'll be her guardian rifle. Not going in quiet. Two's all you need. It's not that I don't want to go to serve some raffins up some justice. It's just... Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek, static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or fashion a paddle. Try as we might. So we do what Saul would want us to do. gets nabbed, and you what? Hope for the best? Rather not think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! She has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? Mitch, how you been? Wishing duct tape could right all the world's wrongs. And hey, it shouldn't be me occupying your thoughts, but Saul. You taking a look or not? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in? Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections. Do you see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it?
That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building. There. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. Be like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local cabinet. You would just need to find the control room. Skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay. Got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Let some things up just to be sure. Sheesh. Okay. The Raffins captured Saul. They're holding him somewhere inside their base. We are the cavalry riding to the rescue, hoping to make it in time. You will strive to slip into the camp while I cover you, but we'll let bullets fly only as a last resort. They are many, we are few, so we'll need to look for any chance to gain the upper hand. You will pull Saul out, and the three of us will ride away at top speed. All clear now? Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. Solid job. I mostly improvised, actually. Either way, it'll have to do. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet. A rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him on my back. So that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. Want me driving? Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. He's not at the top of his form. Yes, but moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the salt I remember. We all had our idols. I know. It's just. One hell of a storm! Looking bad. Oh, it's bad in more than its look. We have to move quickly. We need to hide the car. Park beside that outcrop. Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. You just watch yourself down there. Thank <laughs> you. 
I have you in range. Your eyes peeled. I see several heavy hitters.
Just wasting your time!
magazine detected. Message to user. Thanks, Chew. girl here, dead, disemboweled, and not just for her chrome, I don't think. Fucking Raffins! Soulless filth! There's no line they won't cross! None!
Got eyes on him. Is he breathing? I think so. Good. Grab him and get out of there. Saul. Do, do, do you have my goddamn cigar? Y your cigar? I told you, sons of bitches. A cigar, some ice cold hooch, and a couple of ladies to keep me company. Either that, or you can kiss my keister. Easy, Saul. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am? But she left. Not forever. Gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. Come on. Family's waiting. Uh, so? Oh, how yeah. is it? Time to don my dancing shoes. Seems not bad at all. Demanded a cigar and some companions. That does sound like Saul. Now get yourselves out of there. I'll have a shitstorm down here. Ruined to be a Category a 5. I know. Get out of the building. Right. I'll be right there. Am, you're making a mistake. Another you're one. You're serious right now? Those devils want us to know our location. If we drive to camp now, we'll just be setting the table for them. You look outside lately. The storm will wipe our tracks. And the scent of blood? What? Must have rustled up reinforcements. We got more chomping at our tail. Fuck. We need to shake him! That's one way to treat an engine. Fuck off, Saul. I can't squeeze any more out of it! Cut off that tail! Get ready! Myself. Hey, thanks.
Inside, quick! I need to catch my breath. Just in time for dinner. Not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. Looks like we're in. For the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, B? I'll search in here. Tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this. See what I see? Expiration date's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? No. No lecture. But we do need to talk. That raid's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, off-loading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. And if you had mounted a raid of your own, well, that would have been the end of me. See that? Clenched teeth, furrowed brow. It's his way of saying thanks. We've had our spats. A few. Like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what's coming. Bigger fucking problems. Maybe a war. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? V, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. Gotta agree with Pen M. Sounds like a truly shitty idea. Thanks. What could you possibly know about it? Remember the backers? I'm a bit hazy. Exactly. Joined up with Snake Nation, then poof, evaporated. Aldecaldo's strength's always been their independence. Give that up. My clan's fate will be yours. Or worse. Because Biotechnica just ain't Snake Nation. Thank you, V. I could not have said it better. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Of 
Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. Damn, I love that word. Whoa, what was that about? Probably the meds talking. I sure hope so. I think he took a few solid hits to his skull. Tell me about it. I'm still not used to it. All right. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am? Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. How's your whiskey, ma'am? Hmm. Warm. Subtle metallic aftertaste. Bold, yet smooth. Four out of five stars. Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them, I'd fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? And what did you have in mind? Here at the Independent California, customer satisfaction is job one. Your wish is our command. I would settle for a soft pillow. Might prove hard to come by. We'll see. You know what? We better get some sleep. That was a damn long day. And B, I am glad you came. It meant a lot to me. Ooh, do you hear that? Uh, nope. Hmm. Mm-hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but... When a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plain, I sure can't get any shut eye. Not a wink. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. All right. Good work, V. Old style raid. Saul doing all right? Cracked skull, six busted ribs, bruised kidneys, but he's back at it. Bossing folk every which way. You? You gotta agree now. Next time I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. Too bad I better get rolling in a minute. You need to stay. Think you can see that. Not one of them will admit it. But damn, do they need you. Of course they do. Come on. Last night, when we were talking to Saul, thanks for standing up for me. Though, one thing... The wraiths, the raid, it's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I, 
Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Alda Caldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Glad I could help. Glad I did. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback. Today's local news on N54. I'm Jillian Jordan. For the third consecutive year, Militech has been touted as Night City's best corporation to work for.
To see you be. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. What the hell happened? Look close to awful. You see a man robbed of his implants, money, and dignity. Look well. It is not all bad. I am mostly unnoticed in the streets friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at Anchor in the Bay? Saburo's daughter? Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. And what's to stop her little errand boy from selling us out? He will not do that. He's a man of honor. <laughs> right, because Arasaka's ranks are chock full of those. Do not confuse true honor with the petty morals by which you live. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. My witness, V. Can speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Not gonna like what I'm about to say. I need a guarantee I'm safe here. You are, you have it. V, you can trust Oda. All right then, Compeki Plaza. I was there the night it happened. Looked like your typical family quarrel until... Yorinobu lunged at Saburo and started Silence! Checking. Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about a silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. But you can't ignore the truth! The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinobu-sama. What would you do now, were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu-sama. Consider yourself lucky that I am not you. You cannot Oda. ignore- Not like we're asking for a whole lot here. Just one brief meeting. Hanako should decide if what we say is true. You can't decide for her.
Will you help? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes, and obtained something useful. Hmm, how do you figure that? What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps, if somehow we can get to Hanako-sama. We must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? H hang on. Not so fast. Make it sound as easy as hacking a schism. But you said yourself, Hanako's got the tightest security in All Night City. Correct. That is why I wish for you to contact us with the local fixer. Now just the fixer, Dame. Wakako Okada. Runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? JJ Street. What is this name? <laughs> Just a Night City name. Beware, you mock me too often. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? Uh, just asking. Does everything with you have to have an ulterior motive? I apologize. That came off wrong. I am... I am simply not used to such questions. People like me, either we are doing well, or we are in a grave.
rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together, that's all. Takemura Goro desu. Okada-san, oai dekite kohei desu. Ha, a true gentleman. Ha, oh, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Would have already made the call if you intended to. Simple. You're curious to see what we got. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka. Again. What I fail to understand is... Why come to me? Did Mr. Deshaun not come to the phone? Come on. Got your finger on the hood's pulse. Know everything. Parade honoring Saburo Arasaka? You're prepping in some way. No doubt. Won't see me dressed in mourning. Iwanante. But the rest is true. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? For free. You sure? Got my reasons. But patience, I got none. Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi Platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, the guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old, automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japantown, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Not at all curious what we're going to all this trouble for? Blissful ignorance has served me well. In any case, I'll find out soon, won't I? Thanks, Wakako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. Delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Just low profile, okay? Don't start handing out autographs. In fame, I could not overtake you if I tried. 
Be safe, B. paralyzed with heavy traffic. Escalating gang wars in Haywood, the corporate AV catastrophe. A trying day for taxi services citywide. Can imagine. Night City can kick you in the ass sometimes. True, but it can also produce tremendous opportunities like no other place on Earth. Actually like this city, huh? I'm afraid the reasoning required to satisfactorily answer your question falls outside my established parameters. Relax, Dill. You shared the road enough times for me to know you're not some soulless machine. You... you really think so? Apologies. I must say goodbye now. be this time trash processing plant deserted in cart station in the south of japan town there is a street market it is on the footbridge above the main street use the elevators it is easy to get lost i am on my way there do not make me wait
Need to talk? I mean no longer moment. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. Got a problem and you're calling me? Thought you rejoined the family. Well, I... Yes, I did. But I thought... I suppose that means you're not willing to come, am I right? On my way. Phew. Thanks. I do not understand. That's good to hear. Does me a little more in not have enough of its What's own people? Well, look around, it, sir. Uh, would be better to me, yes. Saul, right? Zoot's now well. as far as all it takes mm -hmm. Japan town to go See you soon. Play. Riots are always best put down by folks not sporting your brand name. Ah, uh, you are here. Why? What are we doing here? You shall learn soon. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wish to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat, you know. Gonna need- I know what you need. It is taken care of. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Where'd you get this shard? Across the canal. Kabuki. Might actually be half decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. This is good to know. Let us move on. To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Sounds like a plan. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well, get more and more used to that. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shot. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. worked.
Done. System's ours. The shard works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Sit. I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Saka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. He's not on his A-game, sure. But even without implants, he could decommission us easily. Where's that come from? Ever seen him in action? No, just no. The way he walks, look in his eye. We'll come back to this later. What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. Well, sounds like a suicide run, but done dumber shit than this, so... Things even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. What do you You're do? a stranger in a strange land. Going with you. Hmm, true. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Cook! Louder! Louder! Double the amount of our acting security forces. President Myers has called this he a eliminated the last obstacle Accord. between himself and the complete the power. NUSA and they US. surrendered it to him. Tell me then, what do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that a not a... Arasaka. An empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside. All of this began with him. The factions. Power struggles. All of this. Ksa. Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon I shall ask him in person. Got factions inside Arasaka? What are they? There are three. Kiji, Hato, and Taka. Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama. The liberal wing, Hato. Support Michiko-sama. Saburo's granddaughter. I know little about her. And then there is Taka, treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. Not to mention even smaller factions. Tell me about him some other time. Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could have kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu. For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family. 
Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Feels like that's about to change. As long as we get Hanako to believe our version of events. Conscience could also come into play. Assuming she's got one. We must reach her first. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So dust and plastic. I have found a good place to observe. We must just climb up here. Now this way. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much? Hmm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Oh, can you run and grab us a pizza? Take out the food? No, just no. If I had time and ingredients, I would prepare some onigiri with cod, or with grilled salmon. No, even better, with umeboshi plabs. Mmm, Arasaka-sama's favorite appetizer. Simple, tasty, and filling. I found him chewing once, pride on his face. It was a protein bar. Saburo Arasaka with a protein bar. Get out of here. Like a true soldier. Okay, enough. Or well, we'll both grow hungry. Let's do this. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. Footbridge, but it's guarded. We will use it to enter if there's no other way. Antenna. Security hub's liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. 
Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. This is not bad. Trucks drive up regularly. Are we to hijack one? Got eyes on the comm system. A lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. Pipes. See them? We could use them to get inside. I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kampik Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in. in. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. What? No sudden movements. Do you see it? That cat? Fine looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City, except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a bacchanico. A bacchanecho? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune. Can restore the dead back to life. Believe in ghosts? The relic lets you talk to the dead, does it not? I believe we are past belief. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Back in Echo 2. Where'd you grow up, anyway? I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once, when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. My childhood, let's see. Racing my bobber for the first time through the hills. Oh, and uh, first kiss in the middle of a synth cornfield. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children but only the clean ones. Transporters, you say? Armored and armed. Chiba 11 has the most murders in all Japan. It probably still has. Let me guess. So they could turn him into corpo soldiers? Exactly. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. So how's a corpo rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburo Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy, service in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama's unmatched eye for talent. You're not saying Saboro fell for you at first sight. 
to make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge. That is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention. And Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. Did what you had to to keep from going hungry. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Saying you got no dirt on your hands? There are no clean hands, but it is important how they become dirty. So spill. How'd you sully yours? Arasaka gave me what no one else could. Values I could honor, live for. This was most important. You dirty your hands for money. I in the name of principles. Wasn't judging you. And true, you oppose the corporations, their order, their world, in a mindless way, yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here. Your corporate world in its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists. As if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability, safety? Chiba 11 slum rats? They're there. Scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that too. We cannot fix everything at once. You already forget what happened at Tom's Diner? People hate corpse more than anything. Can't blame him either. Got some regrets, but clipping from Arasaka ain't one of them. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad, to leave this world, forget everything. Never too late to change. What is your expression? One cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompeki, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Finally starting to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. Bakaneko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. I think it is time to do something, hmm? Oh, getting worse. You do not look so bad.
The diversionary action, that is mine to do. Amen. Good. Now try to enter the warehouse. Mm. I will draw their attention away. Mm, rather clever. That's why I'm here. Very well. I have reached the room. I'll be in their communication system soon.
think you stand a chance? Huh? Must be here somewhere. Okay. Floats ours to do with as we please. You can fly to Tokyo if you want. Ha <laughs> ha. I just may do that. Good work. Now it is my turn. Can you see? Terrible chaos. Even the roof is a slow. Okay, what now? Now we retreat into the shadows and arm ourselves with patience. I will contact you before the parade. Until then, try not to get into any more trouble. As if I wasn't in enough already. Likewise. I've returned to my study of human nature and must ask for your counsel again. Sure, shoot. Please, on a scale from 1 to 10, rate the following hypotheses according to how they appeal to you. Hypothesis 1. Love encourages noble deeds, requiring honesty and sacrifice. Hypothesis wait, 2. Wait, wait, wait. Losing me already. Just explain in simpler terms. Considering the methodology adopted, I'd prefer adhering to this format for discussing love. Ask for advice, and I give it. Don't use methodology and love in the same sentence. Why is that important? It's not, Del. It was a joke. Is it important to you? Uh, no. Honestly, don't know what you're... Del? Delmain? Hello? You there?
start. I will wait where we met before. By the stars. Just out of trouble, okay? But don't take it from me. Get out there and enjoy the sun. Parade is starting soon. Yeah, that does look pretty great. Be just in time. Hey, Goro. Wow. You look like a million eddies. Is that so? That is not how I feel. I ate what you call a scat burger. Aha! Wow, what'd you think? Tasty? Ask the people below. The parade will soon begin. I adjusted the data from Okada-san. I advise you to examine it yourself. To begin with, the malware works. Truly, much better than I anticipated. Our eyes and ears are in the guard room. I observe the CCTV and I know where the sniper positions are. They are a trio. You must make each harmless, before they do the same to me. There are many ways to reach them. The first is nearby. He should not be a problem. The second is worse. You will have to climb. As for the third, he hides on the footbridge over the street. We are here. Hanako-sama's platform will stop here. Close to the emergency exit we will use when all is done. From these points, you will have a clear view of the parade, but the snipers will see things even better. If they notice you, bang, no more thief. If this sounds dangerous, consider that I must leap to the float, enter through a window and meet Hanako-sama face to face. The last is what I fear the most. Is all this clear? Are you ready? Wait, if... If things go to shit, we got a backup plan? What do you think? I am accused of betraying Arasaka. Soon I will try to confront the sister of the CEO in person. There are no backup plans. This one must work. I'm ready. Question is, are you? I formed this plan, did I not? All while ignoring one crucial element. Your friend, Oda. Oda is a man of honor. He would not dare raise his hand against me. Maybe. But you're gonna be dropping in on Hanako by surprise. Ah, you have a point. Instinct and reflexes win out at the moments like this. So? So I can only hope that I am still faster than he is. Stay safe, Goro. Floods have 
starting to run. Remember to be careful or you will face Arasaka drones. I also spotted the Netrunner in her Arasaka uniform. She is somewhere, hidden. Okay, good to go. Then let us begin. You must reach all snipers before Hanako-sama's float appears. Took out the one closer. Now you must leap to the balcony by the green arrow and take the elevator. Take the footbridge at the top to cross the street. I know that borged out ogre. Adam fucking smasher. Guy who killed you, right? Guy, motherfucker's barely human. But hey, know what? I'm glad he's here. You're glad? Seeing as I woke up in a world without any Saburo, I'll have to be satisfied with Smasher. You gotta be satisfied. You got fuck all to lose. All right, fine, we. Your finger on the fucking trigger, I guess. Try to reach the maintenance area. You can climb up from there. Oh. 
silence is not golden. It is the sound of a... You say, target down. Good words to hear. You will find the one to a staircase at the end of the room. It's the shortest route to the next sniper. He positioned himself high. Keep you posted. Thank <laughs> you. 
the maintenance area. You can climb up from there. And if that doesn't work, you can use the footbridge to your right. Watch out for That would be all. Yes, apparently. Well done. One problem remains. And that is? The Arasaka network. She has taken control of all the networks. You must get rid of her. We'll not be able to hijack the float otherwise. She hides in an unfinished apartment building. Near to the second sniper's nest. Okay, on my way.
Been on a while. Time for a break. Fuck! Order. He'd have done the same to me. You saw it! I will remember this. There should be nothing standing in your way now. We press forward. Okay, Prem. Online and in the system. Hanako's inside. What is she doing? Trying to call someone, I think. Try to listen. Do not forget to disarm the alarms. I must be able to enter.危険だと警告されたの。小田とも連絡が取れないし、何か変だわ。パレードを中止すれば弱さを露呈したと思われる。弱さ誰の？あなたの。俺たちだ。私が参加したのはあくまでもお父様を追悼するため。操り人形になる
兄さんやり終えましょうありがとう花子せっかくの式典だやり終えなければ悔いが残るゴロ All systems jammed. It's now or never. Oto-sama. Anako-sama. Anata wa. Oiru shio. Douka, hanash dake demo o kikiki kudasai. Saburo-sama wa. Shichi no koto o kuchi ni shinai. Kore ga ore ni dekiru saigo no goho shi na no desu. Saburo-sama no shi ni tsuite shinjitsu o akasu koto wa. Anako-sama, bure o hatarakita kake arimasen. Shikashi. V. Shit! 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 He shot him. Whatever he did, now we're really fucked. Knew we couldn't trust him. What happened to keeping him on his leash? We best delta the fuck out of here. Ugh! Now, lost your fucking mind? There's no time to explain. We must meet. Where are you? An abandoned apartment block on Pine Street, second floor, number three zero three. Knock four times. Hurry. I look okay to you. We're about to go live. Three, two, one. This is Jillian Jordan of N54 News coming to you live from Japantown, where a commemorative parade in honor of Saburo Arasaka descended into chaos today. Eyewitnesses we've spoken to described a shootout on one of the celebratory floats. The float in question is said to have been transporting Hanako Arasaka. Unfortunately, I have no further details. We are still awaiting an official statement from the Arasaka Corporation regarding the event. Okay, come inside, quick. I feared they had caught you. Right about now, Hanukkah's the most famous missing person in the world. I am aware. So, every Arasaka soldier is on our trail. You're right. Let us not waste any time. 
I offered her some tea. You kidnap Hanako Arasaka and offer her a cup of fucking tea? Yes, she respectfully declined. Tell her the truth about Yorinobu. No embellishment. And state your terms clearly. Perhaps to you, she will listen. Hanako-sama, Kanojo ga rei no jinbutsu desu. Dou ka hanashi o kiite agete kudasai. I was there that night at Konpeki Plaza. I saw Saburo Arasaka die. He wasn't poisoned. That's a lie your brother made up and spread. Yorinobu is the murderer. You must be mad to think I will listen to such nonsense. Thing is, I'm damn determined and got nothing to lose. Got your prototype relic jammed in my head. By freak coincidence, it stopped, then helped me survive. A bullet. Now it's slowly killing me. One of your personality engrams is overriding itself onto my psyche. And if I don't find a way to stop it... Well, it won't end well for me. Harako-sama, be is living proof of the terrible crime your brother committed. We can confirm every word she speaks, if only you will help her with the relic! Hanako-sama... Did you hear that? Go and check. Bad feeling about this. Get the fuck out of here! Takamura! Can't leave him back Forget there! Forget him, guy's toast! Unless you want to wind up like him. me later. Need to find a way out now. Fast! There are empty rooms to the right. It's our only chance. Fun fact. What a time! Uh, 
minutes after decapitation. Be careful. We must go different ways. Alone, we have a better chance. Really? Think so? Then go. Now. Think they make these motels especially for royal fuck-ups like us? AC's busted, dirty needles under the mattress, shitters clogged. No, for real. Who fucking comes here to sleep? We're a couple miles outside Night City. Someone leaving town just keeps driving. Somebody going there sleeps in the damn city. What good's a motel in the middle of nowhere? I'll yeah. tip just two fucking losers. And I thought we were screwed when Goro kidnapped Hanako. Mm-hmm. See, decide to cross a corp, this is what happens. You think you just stepped in shit. Actually, you fell head first into a cesspit. Anyone knocked, blast the fucking door. No warning. And if it's Goro? Who are you kidding? Been 24 hours since we split up. Complete radio silence. Rest in peace, bastard. Song yourself. Even without his implants, he was a good fighter. He'll pull through. Doesn't matter how good you are in Night City. On your own, you're fucked. Hear that? Car. At this hour, in this place? Fuck. Just one? Finger on the trick, V. Not a word. I have a message for V. Don't touch that door. I know you're in there. Who's there? I said, who's there? Oh, want the whole motel to here, or will you let me in? I'm armed. Don't try anything. Finally. Ugh. That on the wall, is that blood? Yeah. Knock the last star off this stuff. So, you were saying, got a message? Sitting right here. Oh, it'll start soon. What'll start?
It's a doll. Or a proxy. I must make one thing clear. I still think you are mad, but... Monaco? That you? But I can fool myself no longer. I believe you. Any word from Goral? We split up when we went on the run. Takemura is in a secure location. That is all you need to know at this time. How'd you find me? Did you really think it would be enough to leave the city? Takemura mentioned he had placed a tracker on you. Yet even had he not, when Arasaka wishes to find someone, it finds them. Porcelain bitch. Okay. So now that you know and believe, what's next? Yorinobu planted a tanto in the corporation's very heart. I must act while the wound is fresh, and you will help me. You are living proof of his crime and treason. Decided already, is that it? You're in no position to set conditions. And what if I... obliged you to cooperate? Have to send a swarm of proxies to do that. This here, talking, is because you're alone. You don't have anyone else you can turn to. This is true. So what are your terms? Want to know everything you know about Makoshi? Mikoshi? One of my father's flagship projects. A data fortress with servers situated on orbital stations all around Earth. Think of it as an archive of personality constructs. Digitized psyches. Try a prison? A matter of perspective. In any case, that is not where you will find salvation. Not without extensive knowledge of the relic and the construct creation procedure. Managed to make contact with Alt Cunningham. The Cunningham? The very same who invented Soul Killer, using her own modified version now. That should be more than useful. Track down your runaway. Hellman was hiding under Kang Tao's wing. We chatted. Think sooner or later the engram will completely consume me. The process can't be stopped. A surprisingly deterministic conclusion for a man of science. At the very least, got my hands on the relic schematics. Got detailed information about its inner workings, project tech documentation. All useful. Even more so, given that Hellman is still alive. I will contact him and explain that one does not leave Arasaka by the back door. That's about the extent of what we got. What now? Let us meet in person, at Embers, in the city center. It is discreet. Just remember one thing. From now on, we both must exercise extreme caution. Uh, well, that's my job done. You know what? What? I think I'd have rather had a wave of Sokka leads marching here. Got what we wanted. Don't tell me that proxy got to you. Fuck you. Come on, think about it. Yesterday, Hanukkah was living in a world that was completely safe for her. Now what she got on her hands now? A foreign city, a homicidal brother, and a fucking thief. It's why she sent a proxy. She's alone. And she is shitting herself more than we are. Uh-huh. Clink. What? Did you say clink? Mm-hmm. Sound of her attaching her leash. What's up? Got a few more words about the... the porcelain cunt? Fuck! 
shit. <coughs> Get ready. Fuck. <laughs> Johnny. That smells the sea breeze. Get up. Pacific's beautiful this time of day. Almost flatlined by that attack. Almost. You're right. Hard to take my eyes off it. We in Pacifica? What's this building? Old hotel, the Pistis Sophia. We're her sole guests right now. Wanted to show you something. Come on. Saw the pseudo endotrizing in your hand. Can't very well function in this body without it, right? Got this strange impression your comatose self wanted to get rid of me. Actually put up a good fight. Did you want to pop the pill? Coolier Chrome. If I'd wanted full control, I'd have taken it already. Lots earlier. Had doubts. Just when you were gonna drop them, your conscience poked you in the gut. So Johnny Silverhand's got a conscience after all. Christ, can we just drop it? The Grand Climb through the window. Can manage that, I think. You wanted to know why I brought you here. There's a hidey hole where I'm standing. Open it. Empty it. These yours? They were. Belong to you now. Huh. Fifty years back. Uh, Mexican conflict? When I was a young piss brain like you, I enlisted with a corp army. Was in Mexico when I realized that no matter the conflict, corps always win. Ordinary people always lose. So that the truth you decided to reveal in song? Well, deserted first. Wound up here, locked in this room. Laid in bed, staring at the ceiling fan for a good month. <sighs> I wouldn't mind lying down right now. Watching a fan until the end of time. It's why I brought you here. Wasting days, weeks. That's the step I want you to skip. Why are you giving me these? Imagine we're deployed together, fighting in a war, side by side. Would you take a bullet for me? I... I don't know. Answer me. I would. Yeah. Tags belong to a man who sacrificed his life for mine in Mexico. Been thinking about our... Predicament. Want to be clear. I will do you no wrong. When the time comes, it'll be my life for yours. I'll agree to get wiped. Tags are proof of my promise. Kind gesture, I guess, but you can't really give me something I already have. Body's mine. Always has been. It is my decision. Not Let's not intruders. talk on it anymore, for now, okay? 
You seriously considering Hanako's offer? Got a better idea. Not yet, but I got a request. Well? Adam Smasher, fucker who got the better of me. Whatever happens to me, I want him zero, gone, tossed into the wind as mulch. Seriously? Smasher? He suddenly comes to mind. Last time we saw him... Didn't we... have a chance to say hello. That's why we gotta find him. Finally end this. Not your dying wish? Revenge? It's more than that. And I'll need you to take Rogue with you. It's important to me. And it's just as important for her. That ain't true. Not sure Rogue's the sentimental type. Hmm. Bitter bitch these days, said it yourself. And it has been a while. So I'll jog her memory myself. You'll drop the pills from Misty, and I'll steer the ship for a bit. Not at all excited about this plan. Realize that, right? Just gonna have a quick chat with Rogue about Smasher. Then I'm out, I promise. Not sure you've earned my trust. This needs to work both ways, V. You enjoy complete control over me at all times. <laughs> Don't even enjoy control over myself. You're the one who makes the bad calls. All I can do is advise. And ask for favors, like I'm doing now. Nelman said you'd do this. Make a power grab or pitch for control. Anders Hellman. And just what has he ever done to help you? May not help, but he doesn't hurt me. Need to know exactly what you plan to do. I'll tell Rogue the truth. See if she's willing to help. Hey, just busted out of Soul Prison. Check out my new ass. All I gotta do is mention Smasher. Serve him up on a platter. Muse over the old days. Easy. Need to think it over. Sure, thanks. This is important to me, V. Just get me to the afterlife and hop in the back seat for a bit, that's all. Feeling better. Should get going. Still feel a sharp something near your heart. Doubt that's ever going away. <clears throat> the Hotel Pista Sofia. That right? Mm-hmm. Good place to die. Just not today. <laughs>